What is good, y'all? Welcome in to Tears of the Kingdom launch party day. I never thought of a better name for this. We're just gonna be playing a bunch for like the whole day. That's basically what the day is. Um, hang around, hang out, you know? Some of y'all might have taken the day off for Tears of the Kingdom. Some of you might be at work with this pulled up on your phone using your cellular data to watch the stream. Um, some of y'all might be playing right now and you're like, you know, 20 hours ahead of me because you played the whole night and you're hanging out in Hyrule and we're hanging out together separately. Whatever your situation is, um, you know, welcome in, glad to have you here. And uh, yeah, so far I kind of agree with, um, I mean, also let me know if the sound is like leaking onto the mic or something. Like I have, I'm playing it like off my speakers cause I don't have headphones on, which I've done before. So feel free to let me know if it is like sounding funky because, um, there should be a way where it doesn't sound weird, if that makes sense. But if you're just jumping in, you know, you had didn't miss the stream last night. Well, one, um, the VOD is, of course, on Twitch. Uh, they stay up on Twitch for as long as Twitch, Twitch leaves them up for, which I think is like a couple days to like a few weeks. Um, but I also have it on YouTube. I put it straight up on YouTube live immediately just because, you know, I, this one's especially hot in the streets. Uh, normally, I do the whole... Um, early access rigmarole and I sort of have tried to create a more consistent public schedule where I think it's I have it set up where like best of goes live on like Wednesdays for the public and my let's play goes live on like Saturday for the public I think is usually my cadence but you know it's a funky week we're doing extra stuff um I think something I'm gonna do too which you know plug in the patreon I gotta make the thumbnails and stuff for it but I think I'm gonna put up the um the vods of my me playing the end of Breath of the Wild on just Patreon exclusive through like have it unlisted on YouTube because I don't really want it on my YouTube channel necessarily because it's kind of like random and funky and just kind of like comes out of nowhere. But I think it'd be fun to still like have that available somewhere. You know, I can always change my mind later if I want to make it public. Oh no. Oh wait, no. Yes, this is good. This is good. We're not dead. I actually kind of forgot what I, what was going on here and I'm just just vibing. Uh, what's up, Eddie? How's it going? I imagine you're, uh, hard at work, you know, guiding away on, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know why I'm not getting any notifications for the channel unless I want them for. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, it can be, can be kind of messy with the notifications, but... Yeah, hope things are going cool. I just have a few sections of worlds you side quests, so it's a chill time so far. The one thing I hate about dividing guides by sections, which it totally makes sense to divide them by sections. So like, yeah, you don't want one person doing this entire game. That would be take like a million years. Um, but like having to try to like get to where your section was, depending on what your section was, like you'd just be beelining to like get to your section. Um, like that part's kind of annoying like I, w I, get, I get why like because that's how games are, are made but I'm like can I just like jump to act three of this game because it's what I have to write the walkthrough for and I still have to play act one and two to get there um hopefully since this is like an open world game it's a little bit like simpler to get to what you need to get to type thing but um yeah you know to put things in perspective Breath of the Wild was when I was a sophomore in high school I graduate tomorrow with my bachelor's degree Man, that is trippy. I was talking to Isaiah about Breath of the Wild um, and our lives yesterday because I'm like, you know, when Breath of the Wild, I, I thought I had a glider and I don't. When Breath of the Wild came out, like, I didn't know who Isaiah was. You know, like, that's weird to think about. Um, I think, what are we, I think we're going on four years in June. And it's like, that's weird, you know? Like, when Breath of the Wild came out, I was, um, Shoot, was I teaching already? Or have I not taught yet? I th oh man, I don't remember what was going on. Offhand with my career. I definitely was not doing game stuff yet. I mean, I was doing some stuff like casually and like building it up and stuff, but I wasn't like, you know, I didn't have like a recurring job. Like I wasn't writing regularly. Like I had a podcast, I think already at the time, maybe. But even that, I'm not sure about. Okay, let's figure out where we're going, though, also, because I'm just kind of walking around. I think let's, like, work on these shrines, right? And then after working on the shrines, maybe we'll go back to the shrines and try to get the loot that we're missing from the shrines. 
I was a sophomore in college, have been through so much since then. Three jobs moved to Milwaukee and back. Three major relationships, insane. Yeah, man. Time keeps trucking along. It's pretty crazy. That makes me feel old as shit. <laughs> um, I had the exact same combo with my bestie from college. Um, I've grown into collectibles for IGN. I like the balance between focusing on them and being able to play the rest of the game normally. Yeah, I, there's only something nice about when you, you know, for those of you who do guys work, which a couple of y'all in chat do guys work and, you know, other people might, I don't know, be curious about it or whatever. The nice thing is like when it is sectioned off, you can like just have that focus of like, this is what I'm really writing about versus um, doing the whole thing. Like when's the whole thing? It's like, it's kind of hell to be honest. Um, and I've never had, like, the ultimate eye for collectibles, personally. That's something that always stressed me out about, like, being even in the guides field. I'm like, I can't find everything. Like, I can write, I can, you know, it's it's funny because people think that guides is, um, like, you have to be, like, a gaming savant to do guides work. But, like, you don't necessarily, like, you just have to be good at, like, writing and explaining stuff. Um, like, being good at finding stuff and figuring things out is definitely like highly valuable but it's not the end-all be-all like it's not just about knowing what to do it's about like knowing how to convey information and organize information um but like i will never forget doing the <laughs> last of us 2 guide like i did the walkthrough for it but at the time like i was the only one with like a code on the guides team so like i was doing the walkthrough and the collectibles and i was like this thing is not going to be complete when the embargo lifts because I don't know where the fuck these collectibles are and then um they added they were able to add Brendan Graber and I put him on collectibles and I was like oh thank fucking god Brendan Brendan you got to find all these fucking coins man I can't do it I, I can't do it um and it worked out great you know the thing came out right on time uh really well done I'm really proud of how it shaped out I mean it's not a very hard game to write a guide for because it is a linear game you know there are definitely harder games to create guide content for i'm like seeing where did i come from now but okay so that was the shrine i'm thinking of going like just around because like i feel like they kind of they kind of set up where you need to go in this area um oh no his job wasn't my job was easy i was like you know oh like oh you mean like the holistic job well i also know you're just giving me shit but um finding collectibles in any game is hard to me um some people have a lot of an easier time with it than i do but but yeah man doing a whole guide by yourself is a pain in the ass i did that for um luigi's mansion 3 like i had aiden help me with the images because i'm like i can't go and get all these fucking screenshots now like i'm i'm done i'm done i'm not adding screenshots this is gonna be a text only guide i'm like that or i'm gonna have to work on this for like a few more weeks so which do we want to do you know um but yeah in general, I don't think anyone should be doing an entire guide of a game by themselves unless the game is a 30 minute game. <laughs> um, I will say though, like shout out to the people who are um, out there on YouTube doing like the YouTube guides. That's the fruit truck. Um, they're, they're also like shots of the people doing YouTube guides. Um, Cause like, I do not know how people are out here doing like the cleanest 100% gameplay, no cut. And obviously they can like edit it and stuff. Like, and I know they edit it. It's not like they're perfect gamers or something. Um, but even so, I'm kind of on fire right now. Hold on, let's see what I want to do. Let's, let's do the, let's just do a little baked apple. Oh shit, now this is on fire. Oof. I've always found video games more helpful, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I think there's different stuff for everybody, right? Um, I mean, really, the main things are written in video. For me, I like... It depends on what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, um... I'm trying to think of examples where... Especially depending on how, like, stuff is written. Like, it might just be easier to, like, look at someone do it. Or, like, certain things, like, that are more... What's the word? Not innocuous, because that's not the right word for it. I guess more general, right? Like, if you do a... You know, back in the day when games were, like, much more, um... 
I don't want to say simplistic, but kind of, you know? It's like, hold on, this isn't the right one. No, this isn't the right one. Pressing these buttons is still remains difficult to me. You know, when a boss had a very predictable pattern, it's like it's a lot easier to write a guide for that. It's like, wait for this thing. But like, if you're just like a lot of times when I when it comes to combat stuff for a guide, like video can be really good for me personally because then I can see. I'm like, I just need to see like how does someone do this because I'm not doing something right. Like my strategy is not correct. How do I um, how do I figure this out? Uh, my brother's definitely a fan of looking up on YouTube more than look it up on a on a bug on a guide but depending on what it is i'm like it might be faster just to find like the text than the spot on a thing but it just depends Whew. oh do 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 I think pretty much every one of my Platinums could not have been done without God Riders. Oh yeah, like, pretty much. Like, I'm trying to, is there a Platinum I did? No, I don't think, ah! Uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think so. Um, the Jack and Daxter one gets pretty close, and like, that is such a hard game to look at a guide for if you're trying to Platinum it, in the sense that if you are missing, there's our, there's our dog friend again. If you're missing, like, so that is pretty simple. I encourage everyone to get it. It's very fun. I love that game. It's a great game. But, um, if you're, like, you have to get all the precursor orbs, and if you're missing some, like, you might not know, like, what did you get and what didn't you get? So, like, you don't know what to look up, and, like, that's what's really challenging about that game's completionist run. Like, it's generally not, like, challenging. I love that you can swap this from here, fucking finally. This is something we talked about in the, um... Um, what was it? So, there we go. There we go. This is something we talked about in my playthroughs or my streams of Breath of the Wild, that it's like, why can't I pick up an item and if my inventory is full, immediately drop an item and put that new item in my inventory? Um, I actually updated the guide in my own time. I've thought about doing that for certain games because, you know... Especially like those older titles where like things were just done differently. There was like different CMSs. Like there's so many reasons that like older games guides get funky. I remember looking up, um, I played, what's that game that like Nintendo put out? And it was like, oh, it's so controversial because the girls are wearing pajamas. What's the, Night, Night, Night Trap, right? Um, I played Night Trap and that game is hard as fuck. I don't know how anyone was beating that game naturally when it came out. It's insanely difficult. And I had to look up a guide to help me do it. And I had to have Isaiah reading me the guide as I was doing it. Because you have, like, the window of time to do what you need to do is, like, so short. So small. Um, and, and then there's not, not really a lot of guides for that game. Because, like, that game's, like, really old. Ooh, I like that this is, like, Discovery. That's cute. Maybe it's in the last game and I just don't remember. But, um... I just love finding stuff. Look at look how cool it is to find things. Um, but yeah, like that, I had to look up the guide for that in like the Steam like comments is like where I found it. That's like the only place that had like what I needed to finish the game. Oof. For my the pickup swap feature only happens when you open the chest. Now I pick up after the that's a that's a little annoying. I don't know why it wouldn't just be all of it, you know? Oh, let me, um, let me look at something real fast. Make sure this is just, like, random stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every now and then I get a voicemail that's actually something, and then, but usually it's just, like, random crap. <laughs> Do I have a sledgehammer? I have a rock hammer. I love rock hammer. It's so good. Oh, who's this? I don't think I want to waste my rock hammer on this person, though. Let's use the, this thing. Ooh. Damn it. Okay, yes. Ew. 
Oh shit, he's still alive. Wait, is he even bad? Oh, what the fuck is this? Babble ge gem? A strange crystal left by defeated bubble of frogs in caves. Okay. Key items. Interesting, interesting. Like bubble. Because it spits bubbles, probably, right? Yay! I know this is gonna break any second now, but. Will it like tell me these things? Okay, good. It'll like, cause I'm like, I'm not reading what these things do right now. I need to climb a thing and it started raining. I'll just wait and vibe until the rain is gone. Honestly, like anti-slip gloves or something. Like, where's it at? Like, please. Because I'm tired of dealing with this weather nonsense when it comes to this. Like, let me buy my way out of these problems. Um, I guess especially because this is, um, so what is it? Is it, I keep whistling by accident. I mean to do this. All right, we'll do that. And then, um, damn, this shit's heavy as fuck now. Okay, hold on. It's dumb that I have like this, that it's like a sword that I did this with, but it was an accident. The privilege, yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where we at? <laughs> Definitely on days like today, it is so convenient to be, but there are solutions to these problems. Oh shit, hold on. No, I don't got anything for you. All right, y'all, be honest. So I know a lot of you have been in this stream for a long time, like in terms of following my content, showing up. This is not the first time I've had my window open. And thus, this is not the first time you've heard this dog. Is not is this dog like the most annoying dog of dogs? Because like, I feel like other dogs, are they, are they all like this? Like, I just, is it because like no one's hanging out with the dog? They just put him outside? Like, what's up with this dog? Because this, this dog like never shuts up. And I like don't, like he doesn't sound like he's having a good time. Like. What's going on with that? Oh my god, it's the outfit. It's the outfit from the cover of the one well, of the cover of the game. But you know, this is like the one like when we saw Link, like I also wanted to cosplay this so bad. Something like maybe it's annoyed, maybe separation anxiety, right? Like that's sad. Like I'm not mad at the dog. Oh, I'm a little mad at the dog. I'm not gonna lie. He's a little he's a little annoying, but I also feel like He's not like he's not having a good time. Like, someone like get your dog, you know? Like, I don't know. Oh, today's one of my favorite types of, type of days. The whole industry is excited and happy, and everyone's playing the same thing at the same time. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, it's a it's a fun vibe. I feel like this is the first time I've really been involved in a game like that communally like with other people in the industry. Elden Ring had some of the same energy, but like I just I'm not an Elden Ring person, so I was like, all right. And even then, Elden Ring, while it has plenty of popularity, right? It won game of the year. Like, it is still, like, a niche thing. It's just a niche popular thing. You know, the way that, like, um... I don't know. I can't think of another, like, great example. D&D uh, &D or something, right? It's, like, it's immensely popular. You know, people make a whole lives off of streaming their campaigns and stuff. Oh, this is, like, I can use this, but later or maybe i can use it now it's a fan but i probably can't get it to run yet because i i think this is like where the guy was like oh talk to like smitty across the way or whatever okay here we go elden ring is not for me too hard i haven't tried my dog's barking people walking by but it's not sustained barking it's not the sustained barking jance neighbor's dog does that's the thing like this dog needs needs some help is this a few hours in? I haven't played this yet. Um, yeah, this is, um, I am like a little bit over two hours into the game. Okay, these I don't think I can break. These ones I can break. 
Um, yeah, are you, um, I know you're doing, did you do your unboxing yet, Jason? I remember you tweeting about <laughs> unboxing, uh, the collector's edition. <laughs> Damn, man, this thing don't want to break. All right, well. Here we go. All for one apple, not yet tonight. It's gonna be really fun. Okay. Mm. The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Col culinary constructs, maker constructs. You'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some become so skilled in their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Mm. You should take time to talk to them. They can teach you many things you may might not know yet okay i love these guys they are so cute the rafts are damaged the, the rafts are damaged we are unsure how to proceed we will consider the problem at dawn after resting the rafts are broken we are exhausted from trying to fix them currently we are resting from the task uh, finishing work then, I'm gonna order a pizza. My husband's gone for the weekend, so I'm gonna focus on the game. Oh, that's so fun. Uh, you know, no shade to anyone's, like, the existence of partnerships, but, like, there's something so cool about having just, like, the space to just do whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Not that you can't do that, I'm sure, when they're there, but... Um, for me, like, what I always do, the few times... Isaiah hasn't, like, left very much in our time together. I think he's literally only been away like one time and I didn't even live with him at the time. I just crashed at his place when he was gone because I like didn't like my apartment. I'm like, can I just stay in your apartment while you're gone? Because we were already like pretty deep into our relationship at the time. So it wasn't like a weird request. And I was like, I'm going to do everything that Isaiah hates. So I was like, I had had my beers, left the cans out at night, you know, just like chilled out, like broed out a little bit. I think I cleaned everything up when he came back and all that. But um that's what I always do. I think about what is the... If there's a food you don't like to eat, I'm ordering that food. You know what I mean? This man just said they're smarter than us. We're learning from them. And the robot said we're tired and we're already out of ideas. <laughs> yeah, the narrative's not quite consistent, is it? At least the Zonai device is undamaged. Yes, they are special tools that we employ. They are necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. Ask the construct in front of the fan for details. I will return to rest. Okay, this is the one. I love these little guys so much. They're so freaking cute. The rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Uh, it seems you... Uh, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. I mean, for question now, please. Um, oh my God, that'd be wild. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinous purposes. Very fancy. Um, maybe just the dog. Yeah, the dog just was barking at the truck. Maybe, I don't know. Um, using Zonai devices does require energy. The external energy the external energy cells will be necessary in your case ah you are you have one already that is a relief but perhaps a refresher is in order an energy cell stores the energy required to use zonai devices its energy will replenish automatically while zonai devices are not in use its capacity is not unlimited use the energy contained within wisely otherwise you may run out at an inopportune moment pardon the long explanation it does not change our need for a raft Zona devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you may find many ways to employ them. All right, so obviously we have to build a little rafty raft. Um, the thing that I'm... Ah, we may need... We may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water. Damn, so I can't use your shit? All right, bye. Um... Something I'm curious about... And, you know, there's obviously, don't tell me if you already know, because it's like, I'll get there in a couple hours. But is like, how we're going to go, and how smoothly we are going to go from, um, these very, like, scripted builds of, like, make a raft. Here is the fan in the sail for the raft. Which, I think this is, like, a necessary part. Like, I'm not, like, knocking that this is very, like, straightforward. 
I feel like that's super necessary. But I'm curious as to like, when the training wheels are off, like, am I gonna be able to figure this stuff out? And is it gonna be fun to figure out? Or is it gonna be like, too obvious to figure out, you know? Um, exactly, like, you know how like, funky is this getting? And then like, also how much is it like, necessary and part of the game? Um, I like the crafting stuff fine, like I'm enjoying it. I enjoy a good craft moment. I like the mechanics that they have associated with it. But, um, oh, true. Thanks for the sub with Prime. I appreciate yeah. it. Like, I know Maggie was not a big fan of it, like, last night. She was like, oh, it's, like, a lot of crafting. She, was, she also said she was probably just tired from us being, like, out in line for, like, two hours, like, broken up across, like, a couple hours um, for the game. And, you know, she came off of work and you know, long days and stuff. So she's like, oh, I think... And she also gets uh, motion sickness, and she said she felt kind of, like, nauseous from, like, moving the pieces around. Um... And I know that's definitely, like, sort of, if Breath of the Wild's, um, controversial mechanic was the, um, weapon degradation, or de disintegration, or degeneration, I don't know how you say that, you know, the breakable weapons, right? If that was, like, kind of the, are you for or against, I feel like the crafting, well, I don't think it's gonna necessarily be, like, that's gonna be the discourse of the game, I feel like it's definitely because it's like too big of a mechanic, I think, to be the full discourse of the game, but it definitely feels like a potential point of contention for people. And I'm curious as to like how big of a role is this going to play? Is it going to be more like if you take advantage of it, like you can do some crazy shit, but you don't need to like, especially with a game this open and just kind of like the precedent they set with Breath of the Wild and now Tears of the Kingdom, like it's a lot of stuff you can do but you don't have to have done all the things to like have the experience you know what i mean like i'm curious about that oh yeah how was that whole experience waiting in line was it super nostalgic um it wasn't like crazy nostalgic for me because i've done it like i do it all the time like um i know for a lot of people they're like i haven't done this since like call of duty in 2009 or whatever and that's like fine like you know you don't need to keep going to midnight launches or whatever but i um do that for pokemon as well um a lot of times i didn't do it for the last game i don't think um, I think I just, like, got them normally. But it's, like, it has been maybe, like, a year or two since I've done one of those. Like, it's fairly regular for me. Um, but I liked it a lot. I have fun doing it. Um, it's funny because it is silly, right? It's like, okay, I'm standing in line to get my receipt verified. And then I'm standing in line to pick up my game. Um, what I like about it, though... And, you know, people say, oh, it's about connecting with people. And I, I do talk to a few people online, like, casually if it comes up. Um, I did that more for the verification than I did for the, um... Than I did for the, um, uh, actual picking up of the game. Like, at that point, I was just, like, chilling with Maggie. And I watched some of Barrett's stream while I was in line. Um, but for me, like, I just like the general energy. Like, the idea of everyone being there and showing up for tears of the kingdom and being excited about it i'm looking for like if there's a sale or something i guess i don't need a sale can i just like should i put multiple fans on there maybe let's grab multiple fans and see what's up i keep forgetting the buttons even though i don't know if i have like the energy to even run multiple fans but let's just try some stuff out um yeah but it was really fun and you get like these cute little um to me like stories and moments from the event you know i did a whole thread on twitter a couple threads on twitter talking about um different things I've overheard from people excited about the game and, you know, talking about Breath of the Wild and what they liked or didn't like. Oh yeah, he needs this. He's like, oh, sorry, this is mine. <sighs> Whatever. Let me be great. Um, you know, seeing that one, like I tweeted about this as well and I like recorded part of the audio of her like talking, but that one woman who got like all the stuff, like the collector's edition, the amiibo, like, you know, and was like, oh, I haven't beat Ganon yet in Breath of the Wild. I've been saving it all this time, and now I'm going to go home, and am going to kill him, and I'm going to play Two of the Kingdom. Like, it's super dorky stuff, right? But, like, that's all, that's everyone here. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and it, I don't know, there's something really cute and sweet about it. Um, I think, too, like, I love being a critic, and, like, I have a blast and a half talking to my peers. It's a level of conversation that, you know, you can't necessarily get from anybody um and i really value that but at the same time it's like it is a different perspective so it's also just really fun like seeing people who are 
they obviously have a deep love for games, but it's in a very different way than like my relationship with games is. Um, and like getting their perspective and like what they're excited about, what other games they like, like how they play, like what they plan on doing. Like there's just like a hype and an energy around it and a wholesomeness that I really enjoy being a part of. Um, and you know, I just like physical games. So if you like physical and you want to play ASAP, you kind of got to do like the midnight thing anyway, because that's like the only way to, um, you know, have both the physical game, but also like be able to play that night. Cause I, I don't like, when I really want to play it, when I'm really thirsty to like play a game, I don't like getting like, I ordered it from Target or Amazon or GameStop to get delivered. Cause I don't want to be like here right now with y'all and be like, oh my God, I'm like waiting for, they said they were gonna deliver it, but they haven't delivered it yet. Once when Digital never looks back, I think we would all be a little happier if we didn't worry about what's dorky or not. Oh yeah, for sure. But yeah, I mean, inherently it is just like, it's it's a nerdy thing, but like we're all nerds. Like that's you know, it's a it's like a fun way to engage in the hobby, and it's not gonna be fun for everybody. So I definitely don't think like you gotta go. It's like the the but like you know if you're interested, like it's I had a good time, um, even though it is like, you know, a dated, more hassle thing. But I've always just loved physical media for games, um, and I also don't get to like get physical a lot because while it's really great that for like content coverage you know and also other conveniences of like not having to worry about setting aside as much of my own income for video games because i work covering video games um all of those are like you know digital games like the in my whole life i only got one physical game that for coverage purposes and it was like pokemon um yep. Sword and Shield. Like for some reason, Nintendo sent physical copies of that game specifically. Um, but yeah, so it's like, okay, I, I love physical, but it doesn't always make sense for me to, and I, I don't really believe in like rebuying games. Um, it'd be cool to do for like games I really love and I might do that, but it is a little bit silly to like, for me to get, you know, just as an example, Horizon Forbidden West for free for coverage. I beat the game and now I'm going to buy a physical copy of the game. Like it doesn't, you know, Isaiah doesn't even have a physical disk drive on his PS5. So there's like not, it just doesn't make sense. Like I'd rather just, if I did that, I just, let me just give it to someone else. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't make sense to me to just like hoard physical versions of all your favorite games. Especially when like, it's not like it does anything now. It's really just a physical key to create a digital key, you know? Um, so it's nice to, you know, while I would totally prefer if Nintendo just gave me Tears of the Kingdom, um, directly or better yet early so I can do coverage and do review content and do all that stuff um, they don't slash they didn't so now I can at least get a physical copy like might as well it's one of the few times where it makes sense for me to go out and, and get a physical copy um, Nintendo is extremely selective extremely selective yes um, was that says uh, I know some creators like easy allies didn't get a review copy I mean min max didn't get a review copy either like if you listen to the Minmax show, like we have Kyle Hilliard on and he reviewed it for Game Informer. So he talked about his review for Game Informer. But um, yeah, like Nintendo is extremely selective. Um, the end, they're extremely selective. And not only that, like the, out the outlets that do get a copy of the game usually only get one. And that's for like all their games, like pretty much all their games, that's the case. Um, and they're the one company that like I with all my time in the industry and all my coverage of Nintendo, like I don't get copies of Nintendo games. Like the only Nintendo game I've ever gotten, um, especially directly for me, cause you know, I'm like independent creator. So it's uh, even more challenging, I think to get established enough to like get noticed by publishers and stuff for direct codes. Cause I get a lot of my codes through kind of funny or through Min Max, but some are pen to pixels and you'll see me do reviews for like those games. Um, a lot of times when that happens, um, but what was it? Was Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. And that's because it's a Ubisoft game. Like it's a Nintendo game, it's a Ubisoft game, you know? So like that can happen, but um, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know what goes into the rationale or the amount of codes that they want to distribute necessarily, but it doesn't matter. Like almost no one gets those kind of codes. Like that is like, the hardest code to get. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's just how it is. And in general, I mean, it's kind of hard to like, in forming the 
relationships and like getting the right contact the right pr and all that to like be able to get on the radar for like those higher up codes in general is like one big hurdle in the industry like i really wish we had a more transparent funnel for like how to apply like some things do have applications like i've seen like ubisoft have applications for like um you know, uh, content creators or even like, pre like if you're press, contact this email or whatever. But like, sometimes it's even hard to even find who you would even talk to. Like, I don't even know who I would talk to if I wanted to like ask. Like, I don't have a way to even ask. Um, that's just how Nintendo is. Nintendo has been like that for a long time. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like, it is, and that's not unique to kind of funny. Like, a lot of even like the bigger, more separate outlets, they probably also only got one code, maybe two maybe and like that's really hard when you're trying to do so many different types of coverage um this mountain path is especially rugged you must take your environment into account when traveling i have developed guidelines for traveling the mountain path sure i like these little tutorial robots they're very cute fire is a crucial tool when traveling up the mountain path you can you a fire can be used to cook or warm yourself wait why did i ask how to start fire i know how to start fire flint Place flint near the wood and then strike it with metal. Okay. Other methods, but that's like the basics. I feel like I know cooking, but let me just ask him because maybe that'll matter. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily like Nintendo does it for like to create like a scarcity of codes within press, like because that wouldn't make any sense. They just don't need to get like they don't want to give codes out to everybody. Um, in part because I think there's a lot of like paranoia about who you can trust for stuff and then also like the reason i only give one is because i think they're just like look i don't know they just like don't i don't they just don't care about giving you more they're like you got the one to do the review like whatever like sometimes they do send more afterwards um like that's a lot more common but in terms of pre-release they're like look i think you only need the reviewer to have a code of this game um sort of i mean again i'm not i don't work at nintendo and i don't have like you know this is a good write-in for like the kit and krista podcast about that if it hasn't already been talked about i'm very behind on their podcast but like king krista is consistently like my comfort food podcast like when i have a fuck ton of work to do like like if i was reviewing tears of the kingdom um you know pre-embargo i would absolutely have gone through 800 episodes of the king krista. there's not 800 episodes but i at one point you know i would put the headphones on because when you play like really big games too uh, at least for me, like, I do like to listen to, mu like, other music, um, or podcasts. Especially if it's, like, okay, I'm just, like, grinding or I'm doing whatever. Like, I don't need to always be, like, directly listening to all this stuff. Um, like, I will hit up the Crit and Crystal podcast. And that's kind of, like, what I use that podcast for. Like, I have played many hours of many a game while listening to that podcast. Um, but, yeah, if they haven't already uh, talked about that at one point... Uh, it would be a cool question for them because they might have more insights into all that. I really don't. I just have speculation. Um, I don't necessarily think that, like, if they gave more codes, there'd be necessarily more leaks about stuff. But maybe maybe they maybe they think that. Um, do I want to make more food? We can make more food. This is, like, for an elixir, though, right? Yeah, this is like an elixir thing. Even though we have recipes now, I still am kind of just like vibing out. Oh, fun Easter egg while cooking. Link, hum yeah, yeah, I noticed that. He just, he hums like other tunes from the games. Very cute. Um, but yeah, they have, in case y'all missed it, they have like these recipes now. Where, and also if you have the stuff, you can just like like, I could click on the recipe and then boom, just like cook the thing. And it's so fucking useful. Like, finally, <laughs> there's some type, some form of peace in the world. <laughs> like, um, let's see. Wait. 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 Let's see. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I can show that again. Um, so all you do is you click the plus button to open your inventory. Uh, I've played for three hours and still haven't left the tutorial. Yeah, yeah, the tutorial area is long. Um, not like in a bad way or anything, but it is like a. It's gonna take a while before you earn the full game, you know. So you can click on any um, ingredient. So this is like specific to like if you've already like cooked with them before. Like for instance, like this is grayed out because I have not ever made um, an elixir with like monster parts. Maybe I'll do that next. Um, but you know, I've done a bunch of stuff with like these mushrooms. So I can hit select recipe and they show me like all the stuff that I've made. So basically, um, yeah, the recipe cards let you automatically make the dish, love that. Um, once you like discover a recipe, it's logged. Like if I cook any new dish with Sky Shroom, you know, we could do, can you cook these? I don't remember. Let's just see what happens when I throw this together. Okay, I don't think I've done this combo yet because I don't think I've used the jellies for anything. Okay, so it's really gross, um, so that's not really a useful example, but it does exist. Boom. Now dubious food is there um, as, like, a recipe that you can make. I mean, I don't want to make that because it's nasty, but um, let's see. I mean, if I just put these in there, I don't actually don't remember how to use these. Is it just dubious food again? Yeah. All right, well... Ooh, wait, I want to use the eyeballs for arrows, though. I don't think you can make multiple of the same dish at once. Like, hold on, let me look. Um, maybe if I were to, like... No, because it's, like, you... In, in, I, I kind of get that, because, like, logistically, you can only hold five the five ingredients. So there's no way to, like stack it up like they'd have to like do a different ui like representation of that to be able to really do that um so you know they're still a little tedium but i personally don't mind that i because it, it makes sense i feel like for the structure um i do wish that Oh, they do finally show you, like, a bite. I feel like before when it sorted, it didn't tell me what it was sorting by. I wish you had a few more sorting options. But... This is decent. But yeah, it's great. So now it's like, you could just discover your fucking recipes instead of... You know, just kind of, like, vaguely memorizing that, like... I think if I add meat and, like, some apples... This will be decent. Um, I wish the cooking like that in real life. Just throw shit into a pot, it dances, and then poo food. I know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We got... Can I... Wait, wait, wait. I'll just fall through there, right? Oh, look. Okay, so also when it says, like, the Zonite, repower the Zonite energy cell, like, can I see, like, how much power the cell has? That's, like, the thing from before, right? Where, like, the fucking car, the little raft I had was, like, losing energy or something, right? Like, I don't know if I'm explaining that right or asking that correctly. Yay! Yeah. We found him! Fuse things to the horn. I hope not. I kind of hope not. <laughs> Sounds scary. There we go. There's the baby. Um, how many things do I have that have, like, a little rock on them? Also, let's use the construct bow instead. Oh. This was an accident. Hey, pleasure joins the party. Uh, let's have... I'll just try to find if there's someone I haven't brought on the stream in a while. This one's kind of like one of my tinier ones, but it's like my favorite one. It's Bubba. And Bubba's great. Bubba's this cute little cow. The frog peach butt. Oh yeah. I really don't bring that one on anymore. Where? 
Oh, I kind of know where that one's at. It's like up on the top of my shelf. I mostly just bring the Squishmallows for these things. I just gotta see how to... That's pretty good. Can you stand though on your own? Kind of. Okay, here we go. Would you recommend to not jump into this one if someone didn't? Uh, so that would that that was asked like kind of invertedly. I'll just like restate it. You can totally play this without having played the first game. Um, so I think whether or not like you want to play the first game, like it's just kind of up to you. Like if you want to play the first game, because you're like, oh, I just feel like you know. I don't know if I would go back to the first if I already played the second kind of thing, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, I think totally just jump to this one. You know, um... I don't even think you really need the story. Uh, I would not. You could, but I wouldn't. Um, I, I would, in the sense that I personally wouldn't want to, like, have to spend... It just depends on what you want out of, like, the experience and your gameplay time and stuff. Like, a lot of times when, like, shit's out, it's hot in the streets, I'm like, let me just jump to what's out now. Like, kind of like Star Wars, right? Like, um, I didn't beat Jedi Fallen Order. And I'm like, I'm just gonna jump to Survivor. And I'm having a good time. I have no regrets about that. It, you kind of just gotta know yourself. But in terms of understanding the world and the mechanics and stuff, you can totally just jump to this. You do not need Breath of the Wild. Um, what's nice is that if you play Breath of the Wild, you'll be like, oh, I'm really, really comfortable really quickly, really easily. But I don't think it'd be uncomfortable if you didn't play Breath of the Wild. I feel like the tutorial stuff is, like, pretty similar. Obviously, they want me to hit this thing. Okay. I wonder, can I just, like... Here's the thing. Not this. Can I... Can I just, like, knock onto this guy? I do feel like the frame rate gets kind of like clompy here. Oh, maybe not. I guess you can't just like hit hit people. Maybe you can. I don't know. And I'm just doing it badly. Let's see if I can grab this box and just like drop it. Yeah, that works. No, no, no I don't want to use the amiibo because I don't have any. Ooh. Oh shit, I missed it. Oh no. This is like a lot more work than just fighting him, but... Sometimes it's fun to see what you can do, you know? Oh shit! Well, I did knock him, but... At that point, it's like, what's the point? You know what? Oh shit, damn. Give me a second. Uh, let's do... Or also, hold on, let me see something. I wish the log was still, like, big as fuck, though. I'm kind of bummed that, like, the log gets so small. Ow. Even though I don't have this many hearts yet, but... Yay, I did not know how to do that for so long. Um, I've been burned out other- I have fallen- okay. I had fallen off of Breath of the Wild six years ago and finished it back in April, but made sure to give myself a month gap in between. I would have burned out on it otherwise. 
So yeah, if you're asking which to start now, I want to and once you're part of the discourse, I jump into Tears of the Kingdom, but if it's not important, then Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, I personally finished Breath of the Wild, like, the day before this came out. And it was fine. But also, I'm weird, so... You gotta, you gotta kinda just know what you want out of, like, your experiences. Um... Is that the Dr. Mono? I'm, I am a little bit built different, I'm not gonna lie. Cause like when I did that one Breath of the Wild stream where I played for like nine hours and then I did the trophy hunt after, I feel like you guys saw like a different level that I've gone to. Um, but I don't know, like that just is what it is. And I think I'm way less like, I don't know. Uh, Ooh. Okay, arrows! Yay! Way less, um, gameplay discipline than, like, other people I know. Like, I know people that can just play and play and play, and they never get tired of playing any anything, and I'm like, I gotta take a break. No, let me, let me, like, raise this up. You raise me up higher than a mountain. Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, that could've, been, that could've been really bad. That could've been really bad, but it was okay. Me and this plushie. Me and this plushie. Doo -doo -doo. Weird that crates usually... Weird, the crates... Yeah, um, the last set broke when I did that, but this one was, like, really strong. I don't know. Alright, obviously, I think we all know what this is leading to. And honestly, though, like, I love a cart. I love a cart in a game like this. Okay. It's hard to rotate. Go around this way. Something like that. Anything else to do here? No, not not really. Oh, maybe not? Oh yeah, yeah, now it goes, it goes. We Oh shit, it's dark as fuck in here. Is it gonna not be dark anymore? Oh, but you know what? I can probably, um... Let's take this stick. Ooh, sorry. And then we can, like, fuse it. Maybe we can make, like, a little light? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just about hitting them? Whatever. Whatever. Um, games that have been struggling for said my package is delivered noon. Try fusing now that the flower has bloomed. Oh, okay. Um. Wait, I guess I got the- Oh no, what? Nah. Let me know if I'm doing it wrong. I guess it just didn't- it just didn't work the way I thought it would. Clever idea though, thanks. Let's take a look at what the description is. A seed that's often found when stuck to its root. Um, when struck it will take root and bloom. Okay, so this is basically only for being sh like only for striking them. I think, but we can look at what it looks like when you um... If you were to attach- oops, I didn't want to attach an apple. Bitch, that's fucking cool as fuck. Are you joking? So you can basically plant them after that. That's really cool. So like, check it out, you just- And then I could- I mean it's not that dark over there, but like, you can just fucking make your own little lights. What do you mean, one of, one of the giant ones? 
You have small seeds too. I had the same reaction. Oh, I mean, I mean, what are we saving them for? You know, they don't cost anything. Um. Oh, then this guy's explaining it. No, no, no. Fuck you. I figured this out myself. Don't fucking take this away from me. Don't fucking take this away from me. <laughs> okay, anyway. This cave has been mostly picking on them, but it was especially necessary. I am posted here to provide a reminder to bring bright, bright bloom seeds. Okay, you see they're growing them. It causes it to blossom. It will generally be your best to use them in dark places like this. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, like these little ones. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Oops. So then it's like, okay. Yeah, these are like the the big beefers. The big boofers. And then what do we got here? We got... I always forget like... The um... There we go. I mean, just give me the weapons. Um... I don't know what it is, but I, I always get like the, con the controls for like the quick UI stuff mixed up. Um, okay. An unusual mineral has made purposes ancient extracted energy from it and refine it for crafting weapons and armor. Okay. I'll just take that for now. Um, I had the same reaction from the, from the rail checkers. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Love to mine. Love to craft. <clears throat> uh, I don't think we need that wooden stick. Well, maybe. I feel like a lot of our shit's gonna break soon. Can I take it though, or do I? Okay. Big stick. Seeing like if there's some enemies around here. It really wasn't too dark in this cave, though, to be honest, so it wasn't, wasn't too bad. You spin me right round. Ah, I'm not getting your permission to take those. Alright, well, fine. Could it be that you've forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? Zonai capsules. You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules. Are a convenient means to carry port- Oh, it is unfortunate you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Oh, that's cool. The ones I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind wind struck. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several on me for any occasion. I may neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. <laughs> I like these guys. All right, that's the uh, plushy joins the party redemption. Isaiah's like, why are you throwing, why are you throwing Bubba? Okay, here we go. Back to the level that the desk was at before. Okay, I actually might take a break in a second, I think. Okay, remember that this device cannot be put back in its capsule. Okay, cool. But do I like, are they capsules? And maybe he said, and I just feel like I was listening. Do the are the capsules still good after I use them though? Shit. Let me know if he said if they were. I don't want to talk to him again, is the thing. Like, it's too much. If I help him, will he be mad? <gasps> He's maybe, maybe he was a little upset. I don't know. Um Yeah, yeah, you mentioned it. The cave approves the ample resources. It's glad gradually yielding us and us. This is why we require support. I must therefore continue to mind without resting. Oh, that's so sad. Also, it's like really dark in here. Shit, I didn't want to put the horn on there. I do like that you can like quickly um, kind of swap between materials. It's not like the first one you select like gets added necessarily. Because usually when I open up the menu, I'm on like just some random ass material. So it's like. Apologies for not noticing you. I was focusing on processing zo zonite. 
Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is the Zonatite. Whatever, I mentioned. It is a unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are traces of deposits of it on this island, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing these substances into other material. Processing? Zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with, other, with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Um, thanks for the follow for your face eyes. Um, thank you for your patience. Um, I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Cookie T Johnny Five and Mystics from the Dark Cave and a pot of our deco lamp. I think you might get one of those or one of these robots. ET Johnny Five and the Mystics from Dark Crystals with an art deco street lamp. Th yeah, that's so vivid and it feels very true. Um, holy cow. Um, okay, these occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges, converting zonite into other useful materials is a way called processing. Um, crystallized charge- oh yeah, yeah, okay. They're mainly used for energy shell. Okay, so, all right. I guess I'll just ask the zonite charges again, even though I did. And they're what power constructs a charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Okay, I'm kind of like- I'm, I'm kind of getting it together. Uh, I have to read this part like three times. I was just getting in. Yeah, this is like, I mean, I'm hoping this is like, this is going to be kind of in the menu, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, so, okay, because, okay. Let's think with our thonk. We got it. We got it. So, the fucking shards and shit, the Zonai shards, you can swap them for crystallized charge. Um, and this can improve energy cells but then the other one hold on and then these um just like recover the energy themselves but i have like a fuck ton of these like I, i'd be finding these just out in the wild these i don't find and i don't know if you can find them so i'll buy a couple of them i guess just because like you know what i mean like why not um oh total required oh shit never mind Like, I guess, like, I don't know. I don't really know, like, what I should be doing with these. You know what I mean? Like, I'm new here to this world. Um. Oh, he doesn't want me to take his stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Let me know in the chat if you have opinions on <laughs> the long game of maybe I should just buy them all or what, but. That, that part was a bit, a bit much. I feel like I'll, you know, it'll start to make sense as I start using, like, stuff to replenish my energy cells and shit. And, like, you know, but... Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a bit of a lot to, like, parse out. Um, complicated, thanks for the follow. Money for spend- is for spending, might as well buy them all. Really? Buy all the crystals you can. Okay, fuck it. You get more zone eventually. Okay, fuck it, yeah, let's ball out. Ball out. Should I also get these? Because I feel like I just find these in the world. I guess I find these. In the, I find everything in the world. Just the crystals. Okay. Because I have a couple of these. You're about to make a whole chain of those crystals. Yeah, but I could also just. I could also just buy them. Okay. Oh yeah, and then this guy's got some shit to say. I hope that support will someday arrive. Damn! Hold on, that's kind of, uh, that's funny in a dark way. Let me get a screenshot of that. Some of these people are fucking crying out for help, and I'm just like, do 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 Oh, I think you missed something in the previous chamber. Sure, um, like the room I came from, like this thing. This was where I came from. Yep, up there. Oh, like this guy? But... 
Look up, okay. Oh, this guy. Okay, cool, cool. Um... Oh shit. Yay! Those crystals are the most important thing you can collect in my opinion. Okay. And these frogs are always in the caves, yes? Oh, and I got this back. I'm digging the way to like modify the arrows. That's like pretty fun. I like the arrow modification. It kind of like, I don't know if that's going to completely be a swap for like elemental arrows, but like it's got more stuff. I noticed I hadn't gotten everything in the cave, so I backtracked to find him. Oh, does it like show you like if you've gotten everything in the cave? Like, can you see that information somewhere? Obviously now it's not going to tell me that I had like, you know what I mean? Like, does the map indicate? Because it does for the shrines, like whether or not you've gotten everything. Oh yeah, and then this, this is like, I found one here or there is one here? Sorry, that was like eight questions. I'm gonna let it sit for a second. Um, did you start, just start nine minutes ago? I had already been playing, but I only played two hours. Um, so let's see, let's see. Let me sit on the map wall. Maybe I get my questions answered from y'all. It's also not that big a deal. Um, but yeah, if you go to my YouTube channel, um, I mean, there's a Twitch VOD up too of the stream I did last night of the game, but I also uploaded that VOD to YouTube already. If you want to look at it there, my first two hours. Um, so yeah, my question is, yeah, these little green guys should be in every cave. That means, okay, so this, okay, thank you. This means I already found a quark seed there and it's letting me know that I already found one. Um, and then my other question was like, does, because Eddie said that he noticed he didn't get everything in the cave. Is there like an indicator on the map that tells you you didn't get everything in the cave? If it's like Breath of the Wild, it probably is. Like, and I know they have the chest for the loot on the shrines, but like, yeah. Um, I'll wait like a couple more seconds to see if y'all know. There's a check, little check mark maybe. Like the check mark means I got everything, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, this is where I died. Rip. But yeah, let me know if I really if anyone knows. But I think I think Eddie might already know that based on what he said. Um. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go up out of this thing. And then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Run to the restroom real quick. My breaks will be pretty short for this stream. I'll take a longer one when I figure out like what I'm gonna eat. Um, I ate a late breakfast, as I often do, because I sleep in a lot of times, to be honest. Oh yeah, and they gave me the thing, because they're like, you fucked up, you didn't have a, um, a, fan on you and they gave me a fan okay okay so is there like an easier way to like get those fans out of my inventory though just curious yeah you just get up on the d-pad okay cool okay um do i just hit drop select Yeah, it's drop. Okay, cool. And then it's gonna be this button. Okay, I want to get a little bit smoother with some of the UI stuff. For the little caves, a little cave icon should be on the map. It has a check mark. Okay, cool, cool. That's what I thought based on like what the UI seemed to be indicating, but this is actually very not well placed. But you know what? I messed up. It's like all on one fucking side, but don't worry about it. I love these little carts because I just love the little carts. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost fell out of the cart. Let's stop moving in the cart. Let's just sit here. Let's not even think about anything else we got going on. Let's be careful. Hi, ghost goat man. The time bell that the time bell that sounds from the temple of time rings at a set time each morning and evening. 
Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies, in a way. It was, in a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bell stir fond memories in me. Okay, um, all right. Let me take a quick pause here. Like I said, most of my breaks will be pretty short. They'll mostly be, mostly be like bathroom slash stretch your legs breaks. Um, I think I'm gonna also check to see if the laundry is free because it's Friday and y'all know I like to try to get the laundry done before the weekend is up. But our machine broke. Um, so I don't know if it's not broken anymore. Um, but anyway, hang tight. Enjoy the song Game On. It's composed by Eddie. Uh, give Eddie a follow. You can hit exclamation point Eddie at any time to get, uh, to clarify Eddie at any time to get, um, also, is there a way for this battery to stop draining? Why is it just, is it just gonna keep draining? Can I stop this from going? Bitch, I'm done with it already. I don't know. Let me know if I can stop the battery from draining when I'm done with my ride. Anyway, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, so hang tight.
Hi, thanks for the wait. It was a little bit longer than I thought it would be. I was admittedly doing some stuff on my uh, phone, like checking emails and stuff. And then also, um, what was it? I went to go see in the laundry machine. I think it's still broken. It doesn't have a sign anymore that says it's out of order, but um, like the dryer is unplugged. And I think that's like intentional so that people like don't use it because it's not working. So that was that, but uh, yeah. So there we go. Here we go. That's me. That's you. That's you. Full time freelancer extraordinaire. That's you. So I, I say that in my gat a lot of times too. Um, when our pets look in the mirror, do you think they know that they see themselves? Or do they, they just see another cat? And they're like, that's the cat that lives in the mirror. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> yeah, it's a mirror cat. Bruce is like, I hate that mirror cat. It's so fucking smug. <laughs> I need to oh my god, so I love this quest line that they have of helping the babies. It's such a cute little quest line. And I'm gonna do it every fucking time. It's not like I guess it's like more of like a collectible task. I don't know what you'd call it. It's not like thorough enough to be a quest line, but well, let me see where his friend is. I'm guessing we're gonna put the baby in the car and wheel him off, but fuck, where'd he go? There he is. There, He's under this tree. I love this little guy. Hi, baby. Oh, my friend, I got separated. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, he's over there. I, I just I love everything about these guys like the, them and their fucking big backpacks They're like a little um, like you ever see like a middle schooler with like a fucking backpack and the backpack is like the size of the middle schooler Th Those are those little Korok guys The little babies. They're just a baby Don't worry, baby. I got you we're gonna get you where you need to go. I don't know if I want to waste another one of these fucking things, though, actually. 
Let me actually just use the card that we already have the fan on. Oh, also, here's- now we can answer my question, too, about the capsules. Yeah, I think you only, like... You can't, like, reuse the capsule. It's like, I uncapsuled it and, like, that's it. We're just gonna actually use this, because, like, I already built this. You know? We're gonna need to be building new machines every fucking- Maybe when we're, like, 80 hours into the game, and we're, like, rich with capsules, you know, we got, like, 32 wheels on us. 67 fans. 97 sails, you know, then sure. There goes the baby. And I love, my favorite thing about this is that you can attach the baby to the car. Like, look, you glue him down. Oh shit, am I gonna hit this thing by accident? Sorry, baby. Boom. Baby on board. That's how I adore. Oop. Then you just like jiggle the little joystick and get him free. And then look. Oh, he's there. Look, we got him. We brought him here. Another baby saved. We're the save baby brigade. <laughs> Thanks for bringing my friend. He's something for you. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. So fucking good. <clears throat> okay. Oh shit. Maybe some of these just don't really break. I think only like the slightly smaller ones break. Oh, I don't know what caused why some of these break and some of them don't. And then both, I don't know. I don't know the science behind this. Greyhound, what's good? If anyone knows the science behind like which one of these breaks and which one of these doesn't break, feel free to share your findings. Baby on board, does I wanna do, do, do. Yes, I am seeing Baby on board from Homer's fake Beatles doo-wop band. I don't know what kind of genre of music they were making. Like any millennial, I have a lot of Simpsons references just like locked and loaded in my brain. Okay, this looks suspicious. What's up with this, like these little shapes? <laughs> Damn, this shit heavy as fuck. All right, we ain't taking that with us. Ah, a broken track. All right, I see your broken track. Keep your secrets. All right, damn, I can't reach this. Oh, ooh. come on now. I know, I know, I can. Thank you, thank you. Well, I feel like this was a long, a long way. I don't have like the best idea here, if I'm being honest. I'm like, mm. I have like half of an idea. And I'm kind of like, okay. Like, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay, let's figure this out. How can we complete this? I mean, I guess if we... Well, no, because you can't fuse it to the track. But you can fuse it to other stuff? I saw someone earlier fuse the Korok to that hook. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's funny. That's cute, you could do that. Yeah, you could just like send him on his way. I like to go with them though, I like to make sure that they're safe. So this is just gonna slide down though. We like did this already. But maybe if we like hook it differently, it wouldn't slide down? Like, can I? Cause it has like kind of like this hook on this side. Like, can I like, hold on. I can't like see anything now. Give me a second. 
Like, can it hook on... Bitch. No, not, not that way. Not that way. Like, this... The way it curves, you know what I mean? Like, it kind of looks like it could hook onto it. But maybe not. I feel like the, the, tr the cart wouldn't be able to run on this, too, because it's not smooth. But, look. I got a lot of ideas and they don't all make sense but that's okay Bitch. okay this probably doesn't work anyway so i don't know why i'm adamant about trying it out but yeah it just slides off i don't i don't think that's gonna work so we have these carts it's a big gap too They gave us a couple of these hooks, so I feel like it's got to be the hooks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I mean, we can fuse hooks to other hooks. But, like, how would that help me here? Like, I don't... I don't think it necessarily does, but... There's this whole logs. I mean... I don't think this works for anything, but like... I don't know. I do feel like when you are carrying fused items specifically, or when you're carrying like an item that you... Like with this like little hand, like the ultra hand, the frame rate to me does drop a bit. That's probably where I feel like the performance is like the weakest. I don't know. What does this solve? It doesn't really solve anything. So that that's the problem. That's a problem. It doesn't it doesn't solve anything. We're not <laughs> we didn't do anything here. Okay. Um I mean we oh nah I won't even say we almost did something. We like have I don't know what I wanna do here. I don't know what the solution is. No, I can only solve the ones for the tutorials, the easier tutorials. Okay. Um. Okay. Could it be, hold on. Wait, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Give me, give me a second. We can... What if I put this on here? At this point we have 80 cards. Let me like stop being cheap and just make new cards, cause... Okay, hold on, hold on. And then... We put this fan on there. Ignore this weird angle that I'm at. Oh my god, this angle is so ugly. Then we hook it onto this side. This is the part where I'm like, this is gonna be an insane game. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, hold on, here we go, here we go. Can you imagine if I hooked it onto the other side by accident? That would be really sad. Yeah. Yeah, that that's pretty nice. It's good, a, a good feeling. Again, looking once you see the solution, you're like, yeah, okay. That that makes a lot of sense. But for a second there, I'm like, mm, what do you want me to do? There's one puzzle coming up that I used the way the devs intended to finish it, and I want to see how you approach it, that I don't think I use. I'm literally like 20 minutes ahead of you. Okay, interesting. Yeah, um, definitely if you, um, as you're seeing stuff, feel free to shout out how you ended up solving it. Um, you know, very curious to 
to see everyone's different approaches to things. Okay, let's see. I want the apple! Thank, thank you. Come on, give me the apple. Thank you. Just give me the apple and we have an apple, apple, apple. Did I take these already? Yeah, I did. Alright. Ah, the portable pots. Oh! Oh my god. Wait. Okay, but it's like one-time use, right? A one recipe only? I mean... I can I can live with it, but like I'm a little sad about it. Like I'm not gonna lie. Okay, where's also where are we going next? Do we really even know? I've kind of just been like going around. I don't know where the next shrine is. Let me go up here and see if I can see it from the top or something. Oh, there it is. There it is. I think that's it at least. Oh gosh. Shoot, I forgot. Is it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Right? Is that really the next one, though? There's like no other ones? I, I think so. I think it's the next one. I'm trying to see if I can like use this to fish or something. <laughs> like, can I just knock fish out with this? I think they get scared and know that death is coming from above. Maybe I could make like a net though from something. Like the sail could be used as like a little net. Have I been inside this cave? I don't... I don't know. Maybe not? Discovery! Oh. See what this guy has to say. Him and his fucking peppers. <laughs> Excuse me, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Insufficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safe girl guards used by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using warm sounding names. Any such ingredients will suffice. Some also wore thick clothes or warm themselves with a fire. These solutions were effective but less accessible. Be mindful that your, of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one cooking effect can apply per meal. You must take care not to eat something with a different effect afterwards. The chill will set in again sooner than you expect. Okay, well, I took your fucking peppers, so... There you go. I do love the discovery, it's very cool. Very cool, very cute. <laughs> Alright, well... I feel like though, did we like see what there is to see... ...out there? I feel like no. Let's like look a little bit more on just that little land. Ooh, so many nifty gifties here. Okay. 
Aha! And our friend is here. Though, you know, I wonder if we can save on the arrows by just climbing up to him. To a degree. We might not be able to make it up there. Oh, it's interesting. I feel like he has a harder time climbing these kind of surfaces. Shit. Come on, Link. I want to just throw the wooden stick at him. There he is. Oops. Oh god, okay. It's kind of sad, like, how they end up, like... I guess they don't die, they just kind of, like, vanish away? Also, was there anything else up there? I didn't actually look, because I was too focused on what was going on. So yeah, it looks like it's harder for him to climb up this, like, rugged stone more than, like, the like, grassy bits. Also, I probably need to just, like, take it slow, because I don't have that much stamina, so... And doing those little extra jumps, like, while it makes everything go faster, it's, like, harder to do. I don't remember this being the case, like, in Breath of the Wild, but, like, maybe I'm just forgetting. Because I didn't do, like, a lot of climbing when I, like, picked up my file. Because I mostly just, like, teleported and zooped around everywhere. Let's see what's going on here. And then this is just like the regular way to go. Yes, okay. Cool, let's go out of the cave for a second and then just look around a little bit at like what's out here to see if there's anything interesting. We haven't been this way. Well, this is like the icy part. Just like the edges of this stuff, like a little bit. Okay, I don't think so, but I'm like, oh, maybe there'll be like a quark or something. Okay, no, I don't think so. Do 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 do. Mm hmm. Got a big good back cricken. Oh, <sighs> doing a big stretch. Okay. All right. Walking around. Everything's so peaceful here. So check the tops of the caves a little bit. Wait, what? Hold on. Give me a second. I got a little turned around there. And this is where I came from now. Yeah, I guess this cave is like, it's. I think I'm just done in this cave. Oh shit, shit, shit. Okay. I never know how far he can fall before, like, stuff goes down. Um, I feel like it's only a matter of time before... Uh, 
you know, this thing is broken again, so. And then I guess we'll make some more pepper stuff. Um, let's see if we can do this with like some salt and see what that does. Try all these different combinations and flavors. Salty pepper or something? What's up, Robbie? How's it going? Okay, that doesn't really do much of like anything. So that was like a flop, but other things we made with the peppers. Can we do like a... Um, Move quietly elixir, stamina elixir, speed boost elixir, awareness, we need to touch an arrow, scan the mystery, okay. Mm. Okay, these are just like other materials. I don't think I really have anything for an elixir. We got speed, we got stamina, we got just head general health. I guess just this to like beef it up. I don't know. Whatever. Time sheet in. Working with your clothes. Let's binge the hell out of this game. Uh, nice. Oh, oh yeah. You said you were. Um. So I have my window open for like air circulation purposes right but someone drove by like playing music like really loudly and i'm like i'm not gonna get dmca for this like please please and then it adds so much youtube processing time when i have to like luckily in the youtube editor they have this cool new feature um i said i was what now oh yeah sorry i was saying um i was gonna ask you where you're at but then like oh i remembered you said oh you're 20 minutes like ahead or whatever um of where i'm at about um but what was i gonna say um yeah so i'm like let me try not to get this nice music on this uh stream because luckily there is a really cool feature in the youtube editor now that lets you like it's in beta right now so i don't it doesn't work like perfectly but you can actually lift out licensed music from your stream definitely only good for those like like the scenarios i ran into that with were like random tracks popping up in miles morales that were like licensed and be able to mute those which is nice um but i'm like whenever you have to like mute a track though um like it makes the audio like kind of funny too and it takes like a lot like you have to basically reprocess the whole thing and like that takes like 12 hours sometimes like it's a whole thing so i'm like okay let me just i didn't have i didn't want to toss the brb screen because i'm like it's a little dramatic but i'm like let me just mute my mic for a second while i'm running around here Hopefully that was good enough. I don't know. We don't have like, I mean, we've got a couple cold resistance meals. Let's do, honestly, just the peppers themselves, which I should have known is like the best one. Like just purely just the peppers for a time. Actually, this is, this was the best one. What, what, what's the recipe here? Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, this gives me like eight minutes. That's pretty good. Or, right? That's minutes, right? Yeah, that's like really good. But also like... How are we gonna climb up any of this? Because I can't climb up this, right? Fuck. Okay, this might have been a waste of this eight minute... Thing. Oh, we can climb up these, though, I think. But that's, like, a steep climb. My other idea is to build, like, something that can help me climb up here. But maybe we can just... get up there. I don't know if he can, like, climb, like... fucking, like, Spider-Man style of <laughs> this, like, other part of it. That's my only concern. Can I like stand on this for a second? No, prob probably not. It's like not flat. Oh, Link. No, Link, no. Okay. 
He's not gonna make it. There's no like he has like no fucking chance. This motherfucker going die on this thing. Okay, I need to like go to stamina now. I just I just want to try this idea. It's gonna ruin my cold resistance, but oh no, it doesn't. Great. <gasps> no, no. Okay, well that didn't work out. So try something new. I mean, can I just climb up this? Cause it's like not as um. I don't know, like... I don't even know if I have anything else that boosts stamina. Not really. Let's just go. We probably should have made more stamina-based meals. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna make it. Come on, Link. Do I really not? I don't have anything else to do stamina. No, it all has to be cooked. No! We have speed up, though. Does that count for, like, climbing speed? Let's find out. I think it does. He looks like he's going faster. Shit, he's not gonna make it. You fucking bitch. Come on, Link. If I let go, can I just stand? <gasps> no! Damn it. You suck. You suck, Link. Alright, um, it's not your fault, it's okay. Um, I wonder if we can do like this. With, I don't know if this makes sense to put all this together, but. Shit, that didn't actually do what I wanted to do. Okay, damn. All right, well, I guess I should have known because it's like you can only do. I mean, do I suppose with like an apple? I don't. I don't know. I feel like it's not gonna come out. It's gonna come out dubious. Yeah, dubious. You can't just make a frog and an apple. That makes sense. Let's just start eating this dubious food. Okay, um... Energizing mushroom, sure. I think we do this, and then we do like the stamina, and then we do, um, I don't know what, what le what's left. Then hopefully we just can just make it with the cold stuff that we have. And we still have some speed left. And we have still, there's more peppers too though, also, that we can get. We could use some more peppers. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, um, let's go to our meals. Let me see, cause we're, there was also like another meal that I liked that we made that was pretty good. View history. Three minutes, four minutes. How to get the eight minute one? Oh, I guess, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Where the peppers at? Let's just do this one for a second. <clears throat> Maybe it just had more like peppers in it or something, and that's why it was like an eight minute one. I don't know. Um. Like maybe I added like more, like, like an extra pepper. I don't know. Let's see what this one is. 
Yeah, it's three. So what if I do like two peppers and an apple? Like what's the highest like amount of time we can get out of this? Five minutes. So maybe just like a bunch of peppers and an apple? Well, now we don't have like much left, so we just gonna have to just make it be. It doesn't have that many apples left, so. <clears throat> okay, we got one minute left of speed being up. Get up there. I know it's gonna get cold after a while, but like, just get up there. <sighs> He's suffering. He's like, oh god. Oh, okay. This is my only, like, energizing thing. I thought I had another thing that... That had something. Well, that's not good. We probably could use more energizing stuff. Okay, 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 okay. He's gonna get real cold soon, but that's okay. He's suffering. But that's okay. Let's just do some of the threes, because we don't really know what we're doing here with the cold resistance, to be honest. Like kind of struggling with the cold resistance. You did it! Yeah, we got up there. Okay. What? Okay, no, this has to be something. Oh shit. Wait, what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like I gotta like hit it again, right? That'd be my guess. <laughs> I missed whatever this is. God, it's so hard. I, I mean, I'm guessing that's what you have to do, but I'm struggling a lot and I'm running out of time. Running out of time. No, oh, that seems so hard to do. Do they really want me to do that? Oh no, you just have to touch it. Oh, okay, great. That's much easier than trying to hit it with an arrow because I'm like, damn, like you can't slow down time or nothing. Like what? Okay, cool. Also, wait, like, do I not, like, do, do I automatically like, get the seed from that, or do I have to, like... I don't know. Whatever. Like, I'm kind of not sure about that then, right? Did I, like, automatically get something from that? Let me know if I just, like, missed it. Like, do I get one of the seeds for that, or is it, like, not... Um... I'm doing more of the shrines. You got it. Okay. Cool. Um, they were so fun with the old shrine ability. It's a good time. All right, we're almost out of our cold resistance. We got a minute left. Yeah, you got the quark seed, didn't you? I think so. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot this happens. Oh gosh. Okay. Hold on. All right. Yeah, I guess it like automatically gives it to you. I felt like I felt like it wasn't like handed to me. Speaking of quarks, this looks like a quark puzzle. We can't hang out here too long because like it's too cold for us. So it's nice to have fun, but like let's not dawdle too long. Okay, so I gotta make it into a square. No, okay. 
Hold on, hold on. We gotta think with our thonk. Oh shoot, hold on. Before we do that, let's eat another... We're kind of having a, a time here. So, I think... Rotate so that... Oh, hold on. Yeah, something like that. But let me make it, like, flat. It's like hard to like, I want to like get it to stand. Maybe this is the easiest way to get it to stand and then we just rotate it the other way. Yeah, probably. Okay, and then we just place it. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I guess I must have just clicked, I must have just clicked through that with the other guy. Boom. I will say, like, there's stuff like that, and, you know, this happens in a lot of franchises, so I don't think it's, a, like, a bad thing. Um, and maybe at one point, like, they'll tutorialize that a little bit more, but if you didn't already, like, play Zelda games, I feel like that wouldn't have looked like anything to you. I mean, maybe you would have figured it out. Uh, let me know in the chat. I'm curious uh, if anyone has, like, a bit more novice Zelda history that can, like, talk about how they figured that stuff out. Like, I remember when, when I first started playing Zelda games, and I talked about this in the Min-Max show, like, I didn't realize that, like, the whole thing with Zelda and also Resident Evil is, like, shoot the eyeballs. Like, it's always shooting the eyeball. Um, thanks for the lurk, Eddie. Um, but, like, until you know that, like, I didn't know that, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure how many people are gonna, like, get that if they don't already know, like, to do that. But also, like, it's not a big deal if you don't get it, you know what I mean? So, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine either way. But yeah, I'm always curious how folks end up learning that kind of information. Can I sneak up on this bird? By the way, it was my first Zelda. Um, like that looking off seemed intuitive. I didn't put it together until you said it. Yeah. I guess it, it kind of just depends, you know, on if that's enough for you to be like, yeah, this is, there's something here. Like, why does this, why is this here? Um, and part of that is like your developed sensibilities, but like, you also don't necessarily need the sensibility if you just know about like how the game world works, like the specific one does. And I think a lot of games would have something like those kind of pillars for like a puzzle, but like, oh, this is totally it. Like you just start to learn that this is, these are like Korok things. Okay, um, there's something da there's a guy down here. And then also, where's the shrine at? Like, do we know? <laughs> oh, it's up here, it's up here. Okay, we can't dawdle too much longer, because we do have, like, more stuff, but we don't have, like, a lot of more stuff. There's some guys down here, too. There's a lot of shit around here, actually. There's, like, a lot of shit around here. But for all I know, there's, like, a fucking sweater in the shrine. So, it's tough. I'm like, I don't know which what I should do, like... Do I want to keep exploring? Do I want to go for the shrine? Let's talk to this ghost. Hmm. The soldier constructs and counter constructs are only on duty... Are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. Oh. I mean, he really didn't tell me anything here. Let's go into this cave. Maybe the cave is warm, too. I didn't actually notice this. Okay, this is where I found my uh, Korok buddy. When we first got in here. pit cave. He fell in the pit. Yeah, the cave is warm. Is this the cave that I came from? Because I'm gonna be a little bit salty. Yeah, oh my god, that's so funny. I could have just gone through here. That's hilarious. Um, I got, like, turned around in here and didn't realize this exited out to the top. Like, I definitely did this part, but I was like, I didn't, I couldn't tell that this had anything there. Or that you could just climb out of this. Like, that's funny. I had a feeling that that was the case, because I'm like, can't you, like, go through the cave? But whatever. It builds character. We went our own way. And we saw more stuff as a result, so... Whatever. All right. Oops. I don't want to do that.
Oh, they definitely see me. Let's just go fight them, because, you know... If y'all are not gonna, like... Be cool about it. Ow! How do I want to light this? Um, I don't know if I can also strike this and have anything happen. I don't think so, it's not flint, it's just like a rock. But we can do... I mean, I don't know if I have anything on hand to light that. And that's fine, I don't need to cook anything right now. Okay, so other things to do. So we kill those guys. That's cool. Then we can head out over here. There's another guy that we can fight. Maybe, maybe we can sneak up on this guy. Okay, I don't want to sneak up for that long though. It's going to take forever. I mean, once we get down here, if he hasn't seen us, we'll, like, crouch. Yeah. Shit. Oh, no, no, no. That's him fighting the jellies, right? Oh, shit. Damn, that's crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Ow. There we go. Boom. Can also use this to light. I can light the fire over there. Hold on. Wait. The fire. Hold on. I don't know if it's gonna go out like just naturally. Okay, where is it? It's over here, it's over here. It's over here. Oh, come on. Please. Great, great. I thought too it shows you what ingredients you're missing. <laughs> Let's try one with just three peppers. Is well how, you, how it is wild how even our tutorial experiences have been insanely different. Yeah, like what was going on when you were here? Maybe this and an apple? No, this and a. No, I don't want to do that. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just why not? Whatever. It's a waste of a stamina shroom, but. Oh, I think that didn't, like, have its heat properties as a result, so that was kind of an L. I guess we might as well cook the other... Are there any more peppers left? Yeah, I have more peppers left. Yeah, I mean, let's just... Hey, Jan, I'm not watching, just listening. Uh, what's up, uh, Piccolo? How's it going? SSJ? GameStop lied to me about shipping time. That's the thing, like, and, you know... Obviously, not everyone wants to or can go to those, like, in-person releases. That's why when I really, really want a game, like, I'm like, oh, I want to start it, like, ASAP kind of thing. Um, I, like, just can't do the 
the shipping times. Like, the shipping times always suck. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm sorry that happened. That's why the future is digital home heat. I mean, honestly, like, depending on the game, like, if my options are just to get it shipped and I really want to play it, I, I often do just go digital. And um, I pre ordered this uh, Tears of the Kingdom a week ago at GameStop for an in person pickup. And I was like, you know what? Um, I'm gonna. Um, sorry, I'm like losing my train of thought. I was like, I'm going to, um, you know, get it in person. But I went when I went to go pre order it, and I'm like, I'm sure they still have pre orders left. You know, it's it's like not that hard to like get a pre order for a game like that. Um, but I was like, I'm just gonna if I can't get the pre order, I'm just gonna download it digitally because I'm not gonna be dealing with odd stuff. Okay, let's get rid of, hmm. I like a lot of the stuff we have. I guess we don't need two of these. I like the rock things because I use them a lot, but I guess we could drop this and take this thing instead. Spicy peppers. Spicy peppers. Let me double check this area. This side a little bit. You know there's like probably mushrooms on the side of this? No, there's not. Just kidding. Oh. Okay. Ooh. But yeah, thanks for coming through, SSJ. I hope your order arrives uh, sooner rather than later. A bottomless cave, that sounds fun. Um, okay. Speaking of caves, though, we gotta check if there's anything on the ceiling. But also, yeah, I see somebody already on the corner of the ceiling. Up on the ceiling. Amazon is delivering my Amiibo tomorrow. You know, I totally forgot, like, that they were doing Amiibo for this game. I'm kind of surprised that they're still doing Amiibo. Um, I mean, obviously, like, they're still selling and stuff. Like, people like them. Bombflower. Um, always a fun thing. Let's see. Um, why not just use it immediately? Oh, wow. That thing did a lot of damage. That one hit. Um... Uh, yeah, like, I wonder when they're gonna, f like, end Amiibo, or if Amiibo's, like, always gonna be here as part of, uh, what they got going on. Let's see. Hmm. I do want to go down here, but like I don't think we should go down right now. I think how I would love they ended Amiibo. <laughs> yeah, I never got into the Amiibo craze. I mean, there there's a super the, 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 some of them are like pretty well made and like look pretty cool and stuff. So it's not like I don't think that they have like appeal. Um, but the only Amiibo I ever had was I had the cereal box one, which was very cool, and I had um, I think that's it. But um, I really want the big Mega Yoshi. Mega Yarn Yoshi Amiibo. I think it's like super cute looking. Just as like a figure. A figure. From the days of figure. Alright, let's see. Alright, it's warm inside the cave, so we can just kinda go about our life here. So always look up. It's definitely one of the things we got here. That is one I don't have. Yeah, it was like really cool. And now it like sells like for a lot. It's like kind of expensive. Oh, this thing is powerful. This is like fucking stranger things over here. Oh shit. You gotta, like, get it to open the little thing, I guess. Oh! Oh no. 
They it stole something from me. I was not expecting this. Okay. Um I just don't need to open its face. Can I do it with just any... Can any hit do it? No, I think I... I don't know. I'm not sure, like, what the best way to go about fighting this thing is. Give me back my stuff. I stun this guy and grab the treasure. Shoot. I like use the bomb. The bomb works, but I don't want to keep using bombs on him. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Gotta take advantage of this. It really made that club, like, be damaged, but that's okay. Ooh! I got my shield back. Oh. And we got this little opal. Do do. Ember is the color of your energy. Do do. All right. Cool. Um. Well, that was that. That was a lot of excitement. Um. And this thing's almost broken, so. Hey, bird person. Rick, thanks for the sub with Prime. Yeah. I appreciate it. Second sub of the day. Okay, let me try to just... I just feel like there's something going on in some of these places. Okay. Here we go. There's some stuff here. Probably wouldn't hurt us to start like lighting the way a little bit more, but it's just so hard not to be cheap with your resources. You just, I, you know, I don't know. Actually, it's not even that I don't know that I, how many more I'll get. I just, I'm just cheap. I gotta be honest. I'm the problem there. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh man, another one? <laughs> it's the worst. All right, these things suck. Also, I'm curious about this thing. No, it really is just like a little club. Okay, um. I'm trying to think about what I what else I can do here. What kind of things do we have here? I mean, we got the bomb. Let me like read about what kind of stuff we got. So, if struck, it will explode in a cool mist. That could work. If struck, it will explode in a flame ball. Uh, good ingredient for elixirs. This is just stone. Cannot be in this form. Bomb flower. Okay, what if we did... I don't know how far he goes. Oh, just kidding, the bond. Okay, did it- so did it- can I throw it even? I don't- I don't- it just immediately broke this. Okay, um... I don't- I think it just broke when I, like, pulled back. Okay, 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 let's think, let's think, let's think, we don't have a lot of time. Shit. Okay, 
Got him. Boom. This is good. This is some this is some good combat. Yay! We have so many gifts. So many things. Hmm. Another little flame thing. Okay, cool, cool. And we got all these guys. Flame emitter shield. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. That's so fucking cool. Get out of here. That's really cool. So I'm just all fiery everywhere. Okay, anyway, um, back to... I still kind of want to check out what's at the bottom of the bottomless cave, but maybe it'll be a time for another time. Just see what's over here. Does this kind of shield make you slower, though? I can't tell if I run slower when I have, like, really big weapons or if it's just, like, in my head. Nah, I think it's just in my head. I feel like you move the same. Nah, that's like... This is really good. I, I need this for the rest of my life. <laughs> this is so cool. Yo, the Zona I had some real skill over here, you know? Get some more peppers. Spicy peppers. Just see if there's anything over here. As we make our way up. Over here. Go kind of go the long way a little bit. I like too how if you like don't hold it for that long, they don't like burn. I wonder can you like directly make food with this? If I burn these birds, will they become charred drumsticks? Oh, you fucking bitches. Okay, no, they left. They left. We'll have to find that out later. I feel like they would, but I want to know for sure, you know? I will right, come back there. Well, actually, maybe we'll go there now because I feel like the structure tends to be like you're looping around. So I feel like we're going to drop down and loop this way anyway. So I think we can just go to the shrine now. Let's see if we can get there kind of quick because if I get there fast enough, maybe I don't have to use another thing. Oh, actually, I don't know how to get there because this is too slippery to climb. So TBD on that. I wonder though, because I know there's going to be like that thing where you can go up things. I wonder, is do I have to wait? Cause like, look at this. Also, I'm gonna need more of a thing now. Like, more stuff. Like, this looks really suspicious to me. And I'm guessing, like, maybe this shrine isn't my next shrine? As a result? The shrines look like magic elements. <laughs> they kinda do, right? Um, alright, let's let this run out. So maybe this isn't my next shrine. But then where am I going if this is not it? I guess we can loop around and just... I don't know. We can see, maybe it still is and you just have to go like a longer way. Alright, time for another spicy meal. Why do I have this? Like, we don't, we don't need to have that with us. Huh. 
try to sneak up on him. Come on. Shit. Okay. Oh, fucking you asshole. <laughs> oh shit, I missed him. There we go, we got him. I wanted to sneak up on him so bad, but I couldn't. Alright, just because we're here for a while. Um, alright. Let's see how things are going. Running around, hanging out. Oh wait, let's make some more stuff though. Okay, let's... What do I got here? I got, a. Uh, let's look at some recipes. Hmm. I don't have any apples. Well, this is kind of boring, but I guess we just keep making these sautéed, uh, sautéed peppers, because I don't have any apples. Okay. Do, do, do. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm, like, starting to think, like, am I not supposed to be here? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Raph of Scope, uh, also missed, uh, the recipe page. That's wild. And not like, oh, how can you wish I- I just mean, like, to have done so much of this game and not have, like, been able to use that. Like, that kind of sucks. Oh, shit. Why did I think I could jump into the water when I- This is a mistake. This is a mistake. I'm sorry, Link. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. It makes sense that you wouldn't be able to jump into the water, but, like, for some reason, like, that didn't- that didn't register with me. I feel like I'm just in the wrong spot, like, and I don't know how to- what to do about that. Because, right? Like, how can I get up there? Like, am I tripping? Should I go back? Like, what's going on? Do do do. Thanks for the follow. Um. Do 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 do. Hey, yeah. thanks for the sub as well. The follow and the sub coming through. Sub from Prime, Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, I guess. Um. Do, do, do. Okay, so I feel like. Yep. I don't want to say mistakes were made, but it's like, I'm just not sure where to go next. Despite this being kind of linear, what happens when someone subs? Um, I it, I have like a little alert that goes off, you know, it's a little, uh, my little cat, and it's me being like, yeah. So that's like the first thing that happens. Uh, second is we work towards a daily 10 subs goal for each stream. Uh, if that's hit, we get a, um... What is it? A trophy hunt? Uh, right now I'm working on the Platinum for Miles Morales. And then I have a goal above that, if we get past the 10 subs, like a holistic sub goal, that I'll like continuously inch up, depending on how things like tend to go on the channel. And that'll be like uh, a different stream. So right now it's a Resident Evil VR stream. Um, as far as like what happens for me when someone subs, um, I get 50% of the revenue. I think I get the same for, um, for Amazon, like 
Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime subs as I do for regular subs, but I'm not 100% sure offhand if that's true. I'm not like digging into the analytics like that deep. Um, but yeah, so, you know, helps me continue doing what I'm doing, you know, fund my existence, you know, all that. And, and in exchange, I try to do bonus content for y'all just to, you know, provide additional entertainment. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So the difference between a sub and a, 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 a Twitch sub and a normal sub. I don't know offhand if the Twitch sub auto renews when you like pick a channel because I don't have um, an Amazon Prime account under my name. So I don't use the Amazon Prime sub for anyone on Twitch. Uh, Isaiah has one. Um, maybe he uses it for me or maybe he doesn't use it at all. I know he's subbed to the channel, but he might have paid for that himself. And those are like the differences that come to mind. Twitch subs, do not okay. Twi you mean like um, Amazon Prime subs, you mean, right? Because like, if you subbed on your own, I believe that does auto renew. Like if you chose to like i'm gonna sign up and sub for somebody because that's that's been my experience for the people that i sub for um yeah and then you know there's also additional options for subbing on twitch you can do um twitch prime i'm sorry yeah yeah um like you could do like ones in advance i think it's also like there's other little details too like people say that it's it's cheaper to sub if you sub on a desktop than on your phone by like a couple cents or something like that um you know, a lot of ways to take that question. Uh, oh yeah, another thing you get if you sub to the channel too is you get uh, the tier one emotes. I got some little emotes. Um, we got my brother, my sister-in-law, Isaiah, my cat, and myself. Um, and then the last thing too is you um, get, when you sub to anybody on Twitch, you get double the um, channel points. So channel points are just like points you get for watching a streamer. Um, and different streamers will have different rewards. So like I have, you know, like a simple hydrate redemption, which is just like, oh, a little cute, like whatever. We have stuff like the scrubs dance where it's a little gif and I'll do like this little dance to match the dance they do in there. We got like the magic eight ball. Um, recently on the channel, we just hit our goal for me doing my Kingdom Hearts stream. And that was like a channel point goal. So um, let's see, I'm used to watching um, you on MinMax. It almost felt surreal <laughs> having you respond. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I'm here. And, you know, it's a lot easier to, you know, chat versus uh, the podcast, you know, we'll sometimes if you if you've watched on Backstage Pass, we'll like occasionally um, respond to stuff in the live chat and like integrate that with the show. Um, I do try to like get into the YouTube comments and respond to a couple people. But uh, yeah, you know. Uh, the nice thing about Twitch is you can just talk to people directly. I feel like I'm lost, right? Like, and we try to do that a little bit too. If you if you follow MinMax, we also have the MinMax Twitch stream, which I encourage people to check out. Um, obviously, there it because especially when we when we stream with multiple people, it can be harder to do chat since you're like, and you guys see that too on this channel. Like when I'm streaming with Isaiah, I don't read chat quite as intensely as I do when I'm on my own. But you know, I try to keep it a uh, pretty engaged there like what's going on like i don't know what to do i so there okay right like am i tripping like is there like a route that makes sense oh zero effect thanks for the sub with prime i appreciate it yeah um i just do the prime stuff for kf but i'm trying to use it on all the personal channels for our mic subs next oh yeah i appreciate that um yeah definitely spread the love if that's you know what you're looking to do i think there's a lot of you know amazing creators out there and People only have so many resources, you know, do what you can, where you can, how you feel. Um, I mentioned that too for like, I have my Epic Creator code, like the Game Monsters code. And I know people have been like, oh, but like I use the kind of funny code or I use the spawn on me code. And I'm like, that's cool. Like, you know, keep using those codes. Like you definitely can totally keep supporting whatever creator, you know, I don't have like anyone else. Like I don't have infinite resources either. Like I make it a means to sub to like certain people at certain times when I can definitely a, a thing I'd like to do more is like as I continue to get disposable income integrating back in like the creative community and you know I've subbed to like artist patreons or like subscribe to those or different podcasts from time to time you know different things come in in waves um if you want to do it as a rotation that's totally cool if you don't because you're like I'm locked in on you know I've been with Andy since day one or something yeah like keep keep doing that um it's it is no like one single person's duty to necessarily do anything but you know if you ever have the means to do so it's always cool to like support 
artists and creators and and people that you enjoy the work of you know so here's my thing i feel like and am i tripping i feel like i can't so i came through this whole area right i looped around this whole thing i can't get up here like it's too high did i mess something up i feel like maybe i did right like one thing i will say about this map is it's like not the easiest to get a sense of like the elevation and the gaps between areas because i thought i could just climb up here and like loop around here but as i was doing that like there's just this big gap that i can't get through should i just like force it and like eat a bunch of stuff and just like make my way up there should i loop around i feel like most of the shrines have kind of gone in a circle like this is definitely the you know the tutorial area no this is my third shrine um last thing i want to do is back to the game like should i just struggle up there and like go back i'm not sure what you said yes to there's always like a little bit of delay anchor thanks for the follow i had the exact same issue like i thought like i was you know what i mean like i'm i'm like mm, is this is this not the right way should i not have been here did i come here early by accident because i get the sense um just looking like underneath of where the shrine is it looks like it has that thing that lets you like zoop you know you're getting abilities as you go so i'm like is this something that i'm supposed to do later when i have a different ability yeah i'm on a mo uh mo was eating dinner watching an ipad oh yeah and then someone mentioned too with my thing of oh it's cheaper if you do it on desktop than on apple or on your phone someone said it's like the apple tax like you pay a little bit extra like because apple like taxes you or something for it so um oh i think the dude tells you to fast travel function of the third shrine right um yeah i don't know um so keep going that way okay so like do i just gotta force my way up there because this is like where the shrine is like over this thing i didn't find this route like this is where i came from i'm kind of like going backwards but like that's not a bad thing it's just that i'm just like not sure like what i'm supposed to be doing this is it though you just did it i think Like, I came down from this way. Like, how do I even get back? Can I even get back? Like, did I already mess this up? Like, I don't know. Because I had jumped down from here into the water, almost froze to death. And I don't think I can climb back up that way. What do I do? I mean, there's like some stuff going on here. Like, I'm sorry, Link. I'm sorry. Oh, no. No. Yeah, I don't have the fast travel function yet. Um, oh, God. Hmm. That's the thing. I think I'm just going to force my way up there. Hopefully, they actually spawn me somewhere that is better than where I was, because... I should have just like forced it when I was there, but I was like, no, like there's gotta be a easier way to get there. Yeah, they actually put me back in a better spot than where I was, so shout out to that. I guess I'll just like jank my way up there then at this point. Like just make up, cut a bunch of stuff and just Just like make a jinky stairway to heaven kind of thing. Like, I don't know. Can I like also climb up these logs when I like? Mm. It's gonna be a lot. Which felt very open. This tutorial zone feels shockingly linear. That's exactly what I did. Um. It's a weird mix. I think my only like light beef with this tutorial zone is it does feel like it really, I guess kind of like what, to your point, I guess it is like an aspect of the linearity. Um, I had to, fu I had fused them together. Um, where I feel like it wants me to go a certain way 
and then I'm like, but is this the way that you wanted me to go? Because if it's not, I feel like I'm going to have a really hard time, like, getting there type thing. So that's been, like, some of the struggles here. This is the one thing I thought was poorly designed. You were on the right path earlier. But I feel like the it just takes me in a big circle. Oh, with the logs. Oh, shit. Th these, these are, like, falling really far away. <laughs> Stop rolling. No. Like... Just my janky stairway to heaven. Like, I don't know. I am not. I don't really have a good um, thought on how to get all the way up there with these. I feel like it's going to be an arduous process. But... There's a spot that you're meant to use, but I jammed my way up there with the logs. Okay, well... I think janking up there with the log seems like a good, maybe good's not the right word, but a solution. Okay, like we can, if we like lean this enough, we can kind of like, this is like my janky staircase kind of thing. I gotta go. Uh, have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day and... Hope you continue enjoying the game. Definitely looking forward to hearing, oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> All the solutions and things you guys come up with. Uh, I hope you're able to Skyrim your way up. Yeah, I mean, I think we're very crudely heading somewhere, you know what I mean? Like... There's a quite different solution I saw someone else do. Oh, shoot. Um, do you want to hear about that? The problem is, I don't know what items they are. I just jumped in the middle of what the person was doing. Um, I think I'll be alright right now. I think let's just kind of just struggle <laughs> our way up here. Um, I know there's like a big like metal piece too that like is floating around here. That maybe like that could be good, but I don't like know where that, I've, that might have been a really long time ago. It's been a while. Uh, happy Zelda day. Yeah, I just... I mean, you can kind of, like, make your own wall, in this sense. So, yeah, sure, why not? We'll just... I don't know what's gonna happen when we, uh, when this axe breaks, but... Okay. Making our way on town. Do, do, do. You know what this reminds me? Like, you ever do those experiments in physics class where they, like, gave you all, like... You know, they gave you a couple materials and they're like, who can build the best bridge? It's like that, the Zelda game. Like, that assignment. Like, you have marshmallows and toothpicks. Like, who can make the tallest structure? Like, did you guys do that in your physics class in high school? <laughs> what? I mean, did you hear me? Like, did you do that in high school? And like, is that not this game? Like... No, I'm just watching you without audio. Oh, okay. Seeing you trying to climb this wall. <laughs> just stacking things on top of <laughs> Yeah. Well, because I'm like, hey, how do I get up here? And people are like, honestly, just jank your way up there. That's what I did. I'm like, okay, sure, why not? Organize them a little bit. And Look, one could. I can't, okay? This is, uh. That is, uh fair, <laughs> Look, easy peasy, we're up here. <laughs> That's all that matters. Um, I guess let's make. Actually, no, let's make, um. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I want to just click on this and the recipe. I want to do like, there's like an apple one that's pretty good. And then we'll add like one more pepper and like one more apple. Oh, you can't cook when enemies are near? Where? This is bullshit. This dude's just fucking standing outside my house. Get out of my house! I went to four years of art school, so I saw a lot of weird 3D sculptures. 
All right, let's do hold two of these. Hold two of these. This is me and my stairway to heaven. I guess- I'm guessing you're supposed to come out this way. But I don't know how they wanted me to get over here, so... You know, whatever. Though also, hold on, a couple things. I want to eat more food. I'm thinking, what if we... Just for like later. Or for maybe now, I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, now that I'm kind of up here, uh, Dusty Grey Fox, if you're still in the chat, uh, what was the solution that you saw someone do? Curious to know. Uh, I think the metal platform they mentioned earlier combined with the thrusters. I don't know where they found those though. We got these little stairs. Uh, probably somewhere earlier he just kept tripping to different sides and was able to go left and right. Up and down. This is probably where we were supposed to come from. But then like also should we wait to go here until later? Yeah let's just do the shrine now because it's like after that we'll come up here. I think. Like literally just flying through the air. <laughs> Yay! So now the position accordingly uh, with the ultra hand. I'm pretty sure there's a way to the cave that is not using the powers. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll never know. All right, I'm gonna take a little break here. Uh, what's a red uh, spy also? Thanks for stopping by. Um, um, let's talk to this ghost. So you made it here then. Now extend your right hand. Yep. I fucking knew it. I knew- I knew you'd give me this shit. Cause the trailers told me this existed. Howdy. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places mm. and situations. Use ascend and receive the blessing from this shrine. Da -dum. Um. Cool. Surprisingly enough, this is our first shrine today, even though we've been playing for like three hours, which is crazy. Um. But cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and I think I might end up grabbing some food during that. I'll probably bring the food back and eat it on stream just for sake of time, but like TBD on that. So, um, I think also just, we'll probably lean mostly on BRB screens, I think, for this stream, but you know, maybe we'll do an intermission later. We'll see. Uh, so hang tight and I will be right back.
Ooh, all right. Um, 
I just got like a snack. Instead of like a whole meal, I'm gonna eat my meal at like six. Since I woke up late, I ate like kind of like, can you eat these like on their own? Yeah. They're like too bitter. The pine nuts. I think they're better like when they're cooked or whatever. We also have some mango slices from Trader Joe's. I ate a banana and that was like, I think a decent snack. Yeah, the pine nuts are not good when you don't cook them. Like, they have to be, like, mixed in with stuff. I was hoping we had, like, almonds or something, but... Almonds. Though, also, is this still good? Let's double check, because I don't know. Best Buy- oh yeah, this lasts forever. Well, it's good until, like, 2024. It is decent. Of stuff being fused, these things are like stuck together. Oh, I think I also have some of the Volpe sticks. It's like this one, well, yeah, I ate them all already. I don't know. They're like this um, cheese meat thing from Trader Joe's, like little snack sticks. All right. It's a lot, it's very chewy. Hmm. Okay, so. Ooh, they're awesome. I like finally took my hair down from this thing. I guess I can now put it in the... Put uh, my headphones on. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to reactivate the Badoof Redemption, though. Oh my gosh, it's like, there it goes. Trying to get comfortable with like where these pieces of hair are. All right. What a time. Oh, also, let me see, do I have any um cool pictures from this game recently? Even though like, I don't want to be too spoilers, spoiler-y. This is like a decent one. I just do have to grab it. I don't feel like downloading it from my stuff or whatever. Save photo. Okay. And then try number three. There we go. Nice. Uh, hey, Jan, are you using the- Yeah, I'm using the Switch Pro Controller. Um, by some miracle in Nintendo, it actually still works. It doesn't have drift or any issues. Uh, drift is, like, less of an issue with Pro Controllers, but I find that a lot of people I know still get drift in their Pro Controllers. So it's not not an issue, you know? Um, and I will say that 
there was like a time, like literally yesterday, like I had my controller like connected to the switch. And like I was getting like phantom A button presses, which was like, um, kind of weird, you know? A little concerning, but worst case scenario, you know, you have to buy another pro controller and that is what it is. Oh yeah, I can do my thing now. Um, but yeah, going good so far. Um, a lot of my stuff has been working well for, uh, Nintendo hardware. Ew. But one of those uh, adapters was great with the Xbox controller. Um, cool, cool. Yeah, I've never, uh, nice. I've never had those before. Uh, Stanley, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, most of my, I guess my only uh, hardware for the Switch is just really the Pro Controller. I think this is my second Pro Controller though. I don't know what happened to the first one. Maybe it broke. I don't remember. But this is my, um, I guess two. Maybe we can use a regular shield for a bit. This is the Splatoon one. Which, that's the thing that really sucks about, besides the fact that it's inconvenient for, like, hardware to run down because it's not made that well. Um, it also sucks when you get, like, a controller or a special edition Joy-Con or something that you really like and they just break. Like, that's such a crummy feeling, so... I've gotten better at just, like, tapping the stuff instead of, um... Like, holding it down. Hmm. Um, don't play mine enough to just have the Pro Controller, but, uh, Tears of the Kingdom looks nice. Yeah, oh man, I just love the Pro Controller. Uh, basically, I almost exclusively use the Pro Controller, except for when I'm playing handheld. Obvious- somewhat obviously, because I know there's, um, you know, companies that do, like, the, uh, the, um, connective piece for the screen. I'm, like, totally blanking on the name of like all of those things. I know someone in chat's gonna like, be like, oh, it's so-and-so. Like, uh, I think we've worked with them at MinMax before and we have like a MinMax like skinned one of these, but I'm just like, my mind is blanking on what they're called. Um, I don't use that one as much cause it like, the weight is kind of a lot for me. I mean, you can redistribute to make the weight not feel, not be felt. Um, and also like my hands are not so big that I feel like the handheld is uncomfortable for me, but for people with bigger hands, especially like Isaiah uses uh, that thing a lot. I just forgot what the fuck it's called. Um, <clears throat> cool. So we have this, and then I'm guessing we just oh. <laughs> Damn it, man! M people always see me. Like, still looking around. Ooh, cute use case. Oh, it's weird looking. Oh, that was like unsettling. Okay. Seeing if there's any other stuff here. Man. What a fun little sequel this is. I'm like, just wondering, I'm like, what stuff could I be missing? <laughs> 
weird. Alright, I mean, I guess there's nothing else here. Part of me is like, is there stuff like behind the stuff that I'm not seeing? I don't know. Where's my sweater? Someone give me a sweater. Hiya! What's up, you crazy idiot? How's it going? <laughs> Just wrapping things up here. Nice. Yeah, happy Friday. His arm, it's disfigured. Yeah, Link's stinky dead arm. Do you like the same sounds? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was- that was gonna be voice acted. Um, feels like a weird deja vu for me. I like that they have the same sounds, but some stuff has new sounds, which is kind of cool. It's like a good mix of familiar and, like, different. And there's, like- I forget offhand, so let me know in the chat if you remember. There's, like, at least one, or if not two, things that have, like, their own little tunes, and I don't remember what those are. But a lot of the sounds are the same, like the cooking sound and things like that. I see you've restored some power to that arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Okay, damn, that's it? That's all he had to say? Mm, Alright, well. Okay, cool. Um, see, there's still stuff in there, right? Like, how is that possible? Well, let's just head over there and figure out that stuff later. We should be able to- Oh! That's so funny! So then this, I can just do that. Instead of stacking all the... The, like, a little bricks. So many cool things. Yes! Fucking finally! Some good pants! Now where's my sweater, bitch? Where is my sweater? You look back. Cause I feel like a lot of times looking at stuff from just like a different angle. Like, let me climb up this thing. Maybe there'll be like a Korok or something at the top. Oh, he got tired. These cute little boots. Well, actually, I wonder, can I just... This is such a good little tool. Okay, definitely, 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 this is a Korok thing. Alexa, play card again. Oh no, hold on. Oh, oh wait, Alexa, I don't have Alexa. I have the other one. I've been burned by that too many times. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're zooming now. Wait, also, hold on. Can I do the... Yay! Oh shoot, no, I'm out of control! Zen mm. devices were the pinnacle of technology. We built an advanced civilization with men with them and flourished for many years. Oh. If you can master the use of the Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. Okay, well, yeah, like Captain Obvious. I bet a lot of shit would be easier if I was good at what I had to do, you know? It's like, all right. <clears throat> hmm. The sound design so like kind of it's like almost a little gross like it's like grrr. See, I thought there were enemies here, but maybe there aren't. Yeah, I guess there aren't. Oh, this guy's a uh, one of the talk ones. My duties today are complete. Oh? This is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you require Zonai devices to descend the mountain. Would you like a device dispenser? I am manufacturing Zonai devices using this device dispenser. Do you see the bowl-like receptacle? Resources held in your hands can be deposited there. It accepts resources such as construct horns and zonai charges for processing. The altitude here is incredibly high. It is no easy task to descend the mountain. That is why I'm preparing wing-type zonai devices. They are useful tools for making your descent. Zonai capsules are very convenient. They're a portable form of zonai devices that can you can retrieve at any time. I suggest that you deposit resources in the device dispenser before proceeding. Okay. Wait. Do I even have anything to give this guy? Like this? Do I just like... What? So this is like a gotcha pong? Is this like one that I can put in there? Weird. So, like, I can put this in here? Uh. Maybe that one didn't count? <laughs> what if I try to just put, like, an apple in there? Hey, thanks for the sub, uh, Drago. Appreciate it. Damn, they just gave me back my apple, bitches. Okay, so it's just the, like, the Zonite and the Construct Horn. I mean, this is like when you skip it. <laughs> hmm. How much? 
How much like should I take of that? Then there's like there's this. Is like I put a fan on this and like head out. Is that the idea? I feel like that's the idea, but maybe not. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, but how will I, like, hit it, though? I don't know. And this- will this even be enough to, like, do this? Oh, should it be like the other way. I thought it would like raise it up. I guess not. Like obviously, like did not work. Okay, hold on, hold on. I guess the other way then. But also, like, should I just... It's not gonna last that long, so should I just, like, bring it down here? Ah! <laughs> but also, should I have another fan on the butt of it? I mean, does it need like one on the bottom and one on the top? Probably. <laughs> like, right? Like, it would need one on the bottom now, or maybe not. It feels like it would, but maybe that's not true. Oh no. <laughs> and is it then like, is it on the top and on the side? Let's see. Is it just on the bottom of both? Okay, <laughs> like, oh, I think it'd be on the bottoms, but maybe... Or is it just not enough, like...
But then it also like kind of is marked in a way that's like, mm. I might be wasting all these fans. That's like a very real possibility. Fly. I want to fly. Yay. Oh my god. There's like not that much energy in this left though. Oh no. It's also not made very well. It's made very unevenly. Oh. 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 What? Okay, this kind of got going, but it's not very well made, so... <laughs> okay, hold on. If I put him more to the front... Because it was very, like, lopsided. And it was kind of awkward. Definitely almost died, but still, still on my way. All right, is this game, it is a sequel. Oh no, no! Okay. I feel like that's worse. Nope, just kidding. Is it like it needs like the space underneath is the thing? Hold on. But if I put it here, will it just fall? Yes, yes, yes. No! I mean, is this enough because there's like a little bit of an edge? No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, here, 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 here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! All right. That's enough for today. <laughs> Can I walk the rest of the way? Hold on. Uh, they might have. We're far from the glory. Yo, what's up, Crater Gaming? How's it going? All right, well, we're gonna need to make that not as ugly as it is. <clears throat> like all my machines just turn. Oh shit. Also, actually, I'm curious about something. I don't know if I can run with this shield. No, it's damaged. I just want to see if I can, like, make birds into uh, fried drumsticks with this. Like, will he just die? Oh, he's not dead. He's just burning. Well, that was a waste then. There he is. He's gotta die though, he can't live from that, can he? I guess he can, he's very resilient. <laughs> wow. Happy Zelda Day. That was a traumatic sequence, but.
Let me get up here. Get a little bit of stamina back. Okay, um, I think, is this just connected? It might be, there might just be stairs here. Oh, now that I'm not in the heat, I can put back on my cute outfit. Hold on. Yeah. Happy, happy Zelda day. Happy, happy Zelda day. I was expecting uh, more shrines. <clears throat> I've charged my hand. Oh, big stretch. It's the tear of the kingdom. Yeah, I mean, totally. Mm. Oh yeah, right, right. I forgot we're able to do that. Recall the ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. <clears throat> and Zelda has vanished as well. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was an echo. 
An echo? An echo of the eye? Come on, man. This dude looks just like those Outer Wilds things um, from the DLC. Perhaps those are an echo, one that reflects her sheer will. Um, that you've been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. I just want to first see whatever's over here. Okay, nothing's over here. Fair, fair. Really quick though, I feel like something's over here. Oh man, maybe not. Huh, there's nothing up here. Okay. Oh. I stand corrected. Okay, well, I don't want to do that yet. Can I do it while I'm on something? Because that's, like, what I figured this was for, but... Oh, it's so weird. It's like kind of trippy, like, oh, I don't know. There's like a lot of spooky stuff here. Oh my gosh, so close. Ooh, spooky. <clears throat> I really hope something's up here. No, there's not. What the heck? Well. Okay, let's not go that far because we probably gotta... Oh, great. Great, okay. Back up we go. Oh, shit. I got greedy and I want to like do it in one swoop. Damn it. Got greedy again. Alright. So I keep wanting to like go on this one, but it's like already going down, so it's not a good idea. Oh, what? That's it? I don't understand. 
That's it? Like, nothing happens? What? Give me something. What? You remain weekend. You're not strong enough to open it yet. But there's one more shrine on the island. Oh my god. Bitch, if there- Why don't you have me go there first then? Why'd I come all the way over here? Just dudes out here playing games. You fast travel. Yeah, man. Like, what's up? Okay, well, anyway, now that we have that settled, let's see if I can get to the top of this building. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's gross, but like, there's something about it that's kind of like, cool. It's like when the mouse wiggles through those half inch cracks. Yeah, a little bit. Trying to see what stuff is here. I feel like there's something going on in the middle of here, but I don't know. Hmm. No, maybe not. At least not right now. Oh, could I just go to like the other side? Like what's on the other side of this? Because there's like another spot. I feel like this is gonna be like where the final boss is, like at this temple of time. Or some shit. Maybe not, but. There's this big ass gap, right? Yeah. They're adding evil Goku to Fortnite. <laughs> well, this was a mistake. Right, right, yeah. Wow, they really put me on this one inch. Wow, that dog is pissed. Yeah, the dog has like a lot of issues. He's not having a good time, I don't think. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, I don't think I can actually get down here. Like, without dying. At least not right now. This is probably for later, but... You know? Yeah. This is for later. 
I think he does need a friend. That's what it sounds like to me, but I'm not a dog expert. All right. All right, we're done doing that now. But it was fun to check out, just to see what's what's around there. I like they put him like right on the edge of the world for that. Um, okay, cool. So let's go to where he said to go, which is over here. Which, in reality, when I was falling, I could have done that, but I don't know. So we have heart, stamina, and battery power. My battery pack. Wait, is this in here? Like... Wait, what? Okay, here we go. Hmm. Or oh, device dispenser, okay. Is this like outside the cave we're supposed to go? Actually, I guess we'll follow. This is actually not the right spot, I don't think. Can I just like get out of here? I guess I can get out this way and climb above. I'm not sure. Wait, I feel like this is like not right. <laughs> I feel like I'm going like a weird way for this. It's like up here then maybe? I don't know, like why is this here, right? Like. I just got this one ability, like, I'm guessing, yeah? Oh, let me wait. Or maybe not, and this is just, like, a bonus thing that's here. Shit. Happy Friday! Um, I really want to get Tears of the Kingdom, but I haven't- I've only played a few hours of Breath of the Wild. Would I- be left story, left behind story wise. I skipped Breath of the Wild. I don't. I mean, you like it only in. Okay, blah, blah, blah. only in a very technical sense to me. Like, I don't think you need to have played Breath of the Wild to play this. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so annoying. Like, I feel like if you want to play Tears of the Kingdom, just play Tears of the Kingdom and enjoy like being part of it. You know what I mean? Like, if you feel some type of way about, like, oh, I'm missing the lore and, like, all the adventures people had and you, like, want to have that, like, it's still a fantastic game. This, is, this can't be what I need to do, right? Like, maybe I'm messing up. Um, and I think it's good enough that you'd still like it after playing Tears of the Kingdom, but... It's very story light. Tears of the Kingdom really builds on Breath of the Wild mechanically. I think it's hard to go back in this case. And there are giant fun adventures to be had in both. I feel like it's... Until I finish this, I guess I can't say how hard it is to go back. Definitely a couple of the quality of life things, like with um, what they've done with the cooking, and I'm sure other quality of life things will be missed, but... Oh. Oh, wait, 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 duh, duh, hold on. But they, like, have very different kind of, like, powers, you know? Um, even though I don't even know if there's value in me doing this, but... 
Feels like there might be. Awesome thing, but yeah, you know, I think it'll have fun either way. Yeah, this is it. Okay, cool. Cool, this is what I need to do. Though I could have also came this other way. Hands in trying to steal your viewers right now. Oh snap, yeah, 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 hell yeah. I mean, good for Ben. Go uh, do some streams, hang out. I'm like lurking at everyone's streams right now. Um, I'll, did he just start? Oh, Hanson and Ronnie playing Tears of the Kingdom. Um, well, you know what that means? We'll probably get a we'll probably get a big boofy raid. I don't want to impose or assume, but I feel like I don't know who else would be streaming that Ben would pick over me. But now we know that if Ben doesn't raid us, it's personal, you know. Um, okay, I can take these crystallized charges and use them to boost energy wells. Um, Let's just sh sure. A hundred. What? The mines on the island have nearly run dry. What the fuck? A hundred. A hundred. That's so many. Roman noodle. Thanks for the follow. Preparing to welcome raiders. And anyway, didn't they just start though? Like. Yeah, he started like a minute ago. I'm lurking in Jason's stream right now as we speak. Yeah, seven minutes ago. They got a while. That was my exact reactions. That's why I said they are important. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, it's so expensive. Ooh. Okay. The enchiladas are done, so I think we're probably gonna take an enchilada break. That poor dog. Um, okay. So I'm gonna do a BRB and get the enchiladas and then come back. So yeah, hang tight. Uh, I will be back in a few minutes. In the meantime, you can enjoy the song Game On as composed by Eddie. Uh, hang tight.
Yo, what's good? Um, we're here, we're hanging out, we're eating enchiladas now. Um, Meg made some enchiladas, they're really good. They're cheese enchiladas. This is the enchilada. I ate um, one to two of them off stream. Just cause, why not, right? That's like, my ideal way is to eat is not on camera. But yeah, you know, I didn't wanna leave y'all 
hang in for too long of a break. Um, if you're just tuning in, we are um, over, oh, oh, just kidding. We're over here. Wait, just kidding. We're over here. There we go. Um, we are about to do the fourth shrine. So, yeah, there we go. Having some enchiladas, playing Tears of the Kingdom. In my ideal world, I would have, like, made something from the Legends cookbook or something. But yeah, um, you know, feel free to toss stuff in the chat. Um, <clears throat> this will be like, we're eating, um, it's not really an early dinner, right? Like it's like a normal dinner time. This is our dinner slash like, I don't know, lunch together or something. If I had another camera, I would just show you all the food I'm eating. Cause that's the thing, it's, at the, it's, so, like, it's on my desk. So you can't really tell that I'm eating anything, but I am. Here we go. This is my quick fix where it's like, I don't really want to have just like my full camera on, like just chatting. There we go. This is our solution. <laughs> it's also like such a quiet spot in the game. Or maybe did I turn this off? Let's see. No, Maggie made the enchiladas. Why do I feel like I don't hear anything in here? Hmm. I have these on. Maybe they like reconnected to my um. Maybe they reconnected to my um phone or something. I'll do the little turn them off, turn them back on thing. But no, Maggie made the enchiladas. I actually don't know how to make enchiladas. I should learn, but she could just teach me how to do it. And I would like to so that I can have enchiladas for the rest of my life, whenever I want. That sounds like a pretty good life to me. What was your vice food? Mm. Maybe mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. I love trying mac and cheeses. I'll order a side of mac and cheese kind of anywhere, anytime, even though like I might not be hungry enough to even eat the mac and cheese fully, but I love a good mac and cheese. There used to be this amazing place that I loved. Um, if you are in SF or the Bay Area, it was on the Bay Area side, it was called Homeroom. And it's a place that just has mac and cheese and they just have like fancy mac and cheeses. And it's like, was one of my favorite restaurants. Um, during the time that I lived in uh, SF slash the Bay. So I've been looking for like, what's that, what's the equivalent to that here? And I haven't quite found it yet, but I'm sure it exists somewhere. Originally from Chicago. Lived there pretty much my whole life. Um, when I was younger, at least like not now, obviously. Um, from when I was a kid until I was, like, in my early 20s, maybe approaching mid-20s. 
how old was I in 2019? If I'm 29 now, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. Yeah, like my mid-20s. Um, yeah, yeah, my family moved from Chicago to LA. Um, and they just kind of did that on their own volition. Like they wanted to be in Los Angeles and California. Um, I had moved out here before them for IGN, um, SF, and then I moved to the Bay Area, which is basically the same difference. Oh man, um, I guess I'd go Lakers based on my brother's own stuff. Cause they, are they, do they play today? I think probably Lakers, yeah. I'm gonna go Lakers. Usually Edwin's right about these things. He does basketball journalism. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, cause his thing is like, they're not gonna lose at home at this point in the series is kind of his prediction. He's like, I knew they'd lose the last game. He's like, the game before that was like the one. I have traveled outside the US. I went to Mexico when I was eight and I went to Paris when I was 18. Um, Mexico was a family trip to see my family. My dad is Mexican. He has family in Mexico. Um, that was really cool. Um, oh man, Paris is there for game six. That's really cool. That's awesome. And sounds expensive. <laughs> but yeah, that's really cool that he could do that. Um, I'm sure the energy there is like very exciting. Um, yeah, and I went to Paris with this, my high school for a school trip. We had a humanities trip where you could like pitch a humanities project and then you basically got to do art in Paris. A very, very privileged trip from a very privileged uh, public high school, albeit, but yeah. Um, so that was very cool. I think we were there for like a week uh, we, we, and it, w it was like a humanities trip. So we went to like all these museums. It's like my favorite thing to do when I travel. So um, I really loved my time in Paris, even though I did get my wallet stolen and I lost a hundred euro and the wallet that I bought because I bought that wallet bad on that trip. So double L. Um, but a souvenir that didn't get uh, stolen from me was a little backpack. I have like a mini backpack and I still have it to this day. And I, it was like 80 euro. And me and my, fl my friend Claritza were like debating, should we buy it? Like it's a really cute bag. We both really loved it, but it, it was expensive. Like, you know, we're high school kids, so we didn't come with that much money. Um, and we got it and I'm like, this is a good purchase. Like I still use it to this day. I've used it a bunch. I've had that back since like, what, 2011, 2012? It's not the most versatile bag in the world because it's still like a mini backpack, so it's small, but um, yeah, those are my two out of the country experiences. Um, one day I'd like to go to Italy with my family um, and, you know, eat great food and see amazing art. Again, I just, I really love art and museums and Italy's got so many beautiful sites. And I'd also like to go to Japan. Right now the tentative light plan, or at least the consideration is um, down the line when me and Isaiah get married, us going there for our honeymoon is sort of our tentative idea, um, but we'll see. I know he really wants to go to Australia, um, so I'd like for us to do that at some point. It'd be cool if I could like make that a me trip where it's like, oh, I like paid for a whole thing, but that's a lot of money. <laughs> so I don't know when I'm gonna start working on that, but it's something that I'd like to do. Cross the border for Canada to get all of North America. Yeah, I guess I, well, I guess missing Alaska still though now. I know Ben went there for his honeymoon. I could never, like, it's too, it's too nature. I like nature, but I don't like it like that, you know? And I hate the cold. That's why I came to California. Oh yeah, and then I moved to LA just for fun. I, I thought it would be a cool place to live. Wasn't really a fan of like San Francisco generally. There's some really fun things to do there and stuff. And you know, um, to this day, I think Golden Gate Park is like the most beautiful park that I've been to ever anywhere. And I um, I lived really close to that park at the time, which was very lucky considering how low my rent was contextually. Um, so yeah, like there's definitely some things that I really enjoyed about my time there, but um, I like the vibe of LA more. The only thing I don't like about LA, the number one L of LA is the lack of public transport. There is like no public transport here that it runs very infrequently. It's very few and far between. Um, I really hope that changes one day. Like, I think it's like such an important thing for a city to have and the fact that LA doesn't have it like kind of at all is like crazy. Like if they had tr good transport, like it would, it would be like the perfect place to me. Oh, 
Oh man, his enchiladas are starting to get to me. I might, I might only have like one left in me. Um, Maggie played this for me, which is very generous of her. But I think she gave me like six enchiladas or something, and I'm like, oh man, these these enchiladas are starting to starting to fight back. Um, if you're comfortable sharing, um, Tix Mixy, I'd love to know, like, where you are from, at least generally. There's actually really good public transport in a lot of spots in the U.S., um, but what is unique to the United States, depending on your perspective, like, where you're from and what you're used to, is America's really big, con like, compared to a lot of other countries, and there's not a lot of connective transport between, like, our actual, like, cities themselves. Um... At least, and if it is, it's not fast, you know? But, you know, I'm from, sh like, Chicago. Chicago has an incredible public transport. I hear New York's public transport's also very like, good. And I'm not saying it's, like, on par with some of these other countries or cities around the world that probably have a lot more advanced and cleaner public transport. But I think SF also has pretty good tra public transport. The train's not the best, but the buses actually are amazing in, in San Francisco. Um, in Chicago, it's kind of the opposite to me. I think the buses are, like, kind of whack. They're get you where you need to go, but they're, like, slow. They run kind of infrequently. But the trains are, like, incredible. The timing of them is really good. Um, and LA just kind of doesn't really have much of it at all. Like, that's the thing. I'm okay with, like, kind of mid-public transport, but... Compared to, like, how big the city is and, like, where you need to go. And also, like, how many steps you have to take. Um, my big thing, like, I grew up on public transport, like, I went to high school, um, taking the train every morning, um, and, like, looking at something like, you know, I'm over here in the, like, valley area of Los Angeles, and trying to get from there to, like, downtown LA, for instance, like, if I were to take public transport, it would take me, like, something crazy, like, two out, like, two plus hours in, like, two or three different modes of transport plus walking, like, that's just like way too much for what that travel is, you know? I live in Ireland, but grew up in the Netherlands, but has fantastic public transport. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to take your word for it because I'm not too familiar, but um, I definitely feel like there are places you can come to in the United States where you absolutely can visit and not drive, you know? Um, but it's definitely worth like doing a little bit of research before you head over because there are like different places that. It depends on what you want to see and stuff, you know? We're probably going to take a trip to Chicago at some point, hopefully this year, because I want to go back to visit for fun. I haven't been back in a long time. And Isaiah's never been. I don't want to show my hometown and stuff like that. Um, and we'll, we're going to take nothing but public transport, but we might um, rent a car for one day to, like, maybe do more... Um, maybe, like, beachy stuff, or there's, like, some places that are, like, really depending on where we stay, like, really south, where it's like, okay, well, maybe we want to be able to just drive to Hyde Park and go to, like, the Science Museum instead of, like, trying to take the train for, like, a really long time to get there and then having to walk and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, you know, offhand, Nathan, like, what are the current hurdles preventing, like, a better and more thorough public transportation system in Los Angeles, but it's not good. I'll probably try to finish this single enchilada and then I'll have to like put the other one back or something because I don't think I can do like six of these. I'm already like getting pretty full and you never want to go too far over the edge where you're like, now I'm kind of a little bit ill. I tell you, it's laughing from these damn car companies. I mean, I'm may yes and no, right? Like obviously companies have a lot of impact, too much impact on a lot of our lives, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I will say, like, LA has kind of, um, I don't say a unique struggle because I think there's other cities that have this, but, like, even more than, like, SF is also SF in the Bay, really. It's like LA is like LA and it's Santa Monica and it's now, it's like all these different, like, pockets that aren't, like, technically LA count, you know, but they're still LA County. Like, LA County is really big and very sprawling, while, like, somewhere like Chicago is very small. But New York is really big, like, in terms of the boroughs and stuff. I mean, it probably is just, like, an aspect of how they laid out the city and how many, like, expressways and highways and different things there are. Um, but yeah, you know, I would love to see that get improved. Um, 
Like you can tell like the sun is moving because there's like this big light like right in this corner. Well, I tell me we're moving, but you know what I mean. The sun has is in a different is is perceived to be in a different position. Oh yeah, it reminds me of the um was it Adam ruins everything where he talks about like the car and like how like walkability has like been lost to time and things, but. I would love to be able to walk and, and take transit everywhere because also I don't know how to drive because I'm scared to learn, but I do plan to try to learn and see how it goes, but I'm not super eager to start that process because it seems scary, but. There are, but I wouldn't, like, I personally don't feel comfortable. You, well, also, I can't ride a bike. I can't do a lot of things. Um, I think, specifically in the United States, I don't think biking is... There are people that bike a lot of places, but I don't think it's, like, as set up for that as maybe in other places. But I'd rather, like, defer to someone who does bike around the city to talk about that, but... Yeah, I hope so, but we'll see. I, I, and I used to know how to ride a bike when I was a kid, but I never learned on like, when I outgrew my little kid bike, they didn't get me like the right size bike because like I'm really small, but I'm like bigger than like a really, really little kid. So because it wasn't the right size bike, it was really scary for me to ride. So then I never like relearned, like I was supposed to like, oh, just practice and like you'll warm up and stuff. Um, or almost new bike. And that never happened. So I think I would be able to learn pretty quickly if, to ride a bike. But I, I wouldn't personally feel comfortable riding my bike in the street, like alongside car cars and stuff, like where the bike lanes are usually. Sometimes the bike lanes are like more separated from traffic, which is really nice. But a lot of times it's like you're right next to your car and I'm like, I'm good. No, nah, I wouldn't do that. Oh man, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would never do that. But I would be down to learn how to bike. I don't know if I want to bike and record myself. It's a little scary. Like, even roller skating while holding, like, a thing seems intensive to do. But maybe I'll eventually get that, get that drone to have my eyes on, you know? All right, I think this is my last bite. Unless this dog is going through it today. He's really excited to see more Tears of the Kingdom. This is not my dog, funnily enough. It is not my dog. This dog is literally at least a full house down for me. Like, well, in a sense, next door, but I, like, live in an apartment, so, like, the apartment, it's, like, there's a lot of ways apartments are set up, but this is, like, one of those ones where it's, like, sort of, like, a little house building kind of thing, like, a double floor, and then, like, connected, kind of like, you know, in a one, two, three, four, five unit kind of structure with, like, a parking area and stuff. Then there's, like, the, I guess, dri not driveway, but, like, you know, the part where you pull out the lot and then you go out. Yeah, I guess du duplexes is probably the word for it. I'm not sure offhand. When there's, you know, the part where the cars can come out. And then there's, like, another actual, like, I think what I assume is a house and not an apartment. And that's where the dog is, like, in the yard there. So, the fact that I hear him so clearly, and I do have the window open. Like, I could alleviate a lot of it for me and then maybe even all of it for you guys but i like to leave the window open when i can like when i'm not just like recording a podcast because uh you know it helps the air circulate it keeps the room from getting stuffy um that dog is, dude the, the lungs on this dog are like unheard of but i also wonder like is this dog upset like why is he always like it's always like the end of the world for him and i don't know maybe he's going through something I 
I'm not sure what kind of dog it is. I don't know if I've ever actually like seen it because like their fence is like pretty. It's not telling a fence. I guess it's like a. <clears throat> Actually, maybe it is a fence, but their like place is kind of obscured. You know, they have like plants or like a really high like fence kind of thing or whatever. So I don't think I've really gotten a good look. I don't think I've looked at the dog as it's been barking at me necessarily. And I'm really bad with like dog breeds, so I probably wouldn't know anyway. All right, I think that's enough enchiladas for me. I'm gonna put my plate away, come back, and then uh, head into the shrine. Oh my god, she made so many of them too. Like, there's a bunch of leftover ones. Inchlaws are so good. I don't know how often I'm gonna be using that eating enchiladas text, but I have it saved here. Um, you know what? Let me change this to like, maybe like TBD or something. You know what? We'll put TKTK. That's like the classic, uh, you're not sure what, what it is or whatever kind of thing. It's a good, it's a little jank looking, but it's a good impromptu, like, want to update something in the stream kind of thing. Um, all right, before we get going again, I do want to clean my glasses up. Um, maybe do a little refresh. Oh yeah, I need to see too, I'm get my headphones. I don't say working again, like they're broken, but I think they like, got a little uh, disconnected from my setup or like they desynced or something. Whew. Yeah, I feel like I don't hear it. Let me, uh, Look at my audio settings. About to cook some pasta, nice. Let me see, settings. This is on my end, system. No, not system, sound. Sound, 
line in HD audio device. Bluetooth and other devices. Maybe I just have the sound too low for myself to hear it. That's possible. Oh yeah, it was just too low for me. There we go. Great. Problem avoided. Full scaled window, there we go. And then I'm also going to bring back our hot redemption. Okay. Great. All right. Let's see. Then we're gonna be heading out to Disneyland for the evening. Nice. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot next week. Smart to get in before it uh, heats up too much. Ooh, all right. I think we're pretty good. Like I said, I do want to clean up my glasses a little bit. Maybe even swap glasses. What if we did these ones? I mean, sure, but they probably also need to be cleaned. Yeah, appreciate y'all waiting here while I eat some food and take a little bit of a break from gameplay. The key to like a longer stream is you gotta make sure you're like, you know, taking care of everything. Especially too when you have so much time that you're gonna be playing, it's like, okay. Whew. Pretty good. Maybe like a, there's a light, like little glare on here. All right. Let's keep it moving. It's funny too because I was like, oh, I'm surprised they don't have four things. And then they totally did have four things. I still haven't actually been to Disneyland over here. I went to World in Florida a while ago. The ability to rewind. I love like a rewind time mechanic though in a game, like not gonna lie. All right, hopefully this is like enough. Oh, what happens here? Do I run into this? Oh no, okay. Yeah, exactly. You can't pet the dog. Well, they do have a reason for why you can't pet the dog. And it's that, um, I forgot which designer was talking about it from the team, but that they wanted everything that you could do to be with stuff that had a generalized in-game purchase. So the reason you can't pet the dog is because there's not really an interact button in Breath of the Wild. Like, there is a talk button, but there's, like, not really an interact button. Before we go in here, yeah, here we go. And like, I can respect that. Oh, oh God, oh God. Well, I do know that there's an actual explanation. Yeah, so. 
And I think so much of the game and this game are based around like that design ethos and it makes like everything really fun and interesting and different. All right, see what else is here. I guess there's something else here. And then for this, it's going to be like, I think it's like what when they reach the top. It, like opens. Oh wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. I'm kind of seeing what's going on here. It's like when they're together. So it's like they it has to be like together at the bottom. Or something? No, I messed up though. Hold on. Well, actually, this is getting close because now they meet here. I think they have to like meet at the bottom or something. Oh no, just kidding. Wait. No. Or... Yeah? Wait. Okay, I think we're confused on how they interact. I don't think I've figured it out yet. Give me a second. So it's when they meet, the th thing goes down. But like, it doesn't go down all the way. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Um... I mean... No. <laughs> I'm like, what? Hold on. I know... I can tell I just haven't, like, understood how they work yet, fully. Okay, the gate goes down when they're together, so it's like, I don't, oh, 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 okay, we did it, we did it, <sighs> and I'm not gonna lie to you, I still don't even know, like, I, f I don't, I don't know if I fully really, like, I guess because it's like they're together and then you're like rewinding them to be together like for longer or something. I don't know. Whatever. It, I got it in there. It doesn't matter. Okay. This isn't show your work. This is get the solution. And that's the power fantasy of The Legend of Zelda. The fact that you don't have to show your work. You can just get the solution. It's up there with the fact that you can, like, spin the Nintendo Switch to solve that, like, um, maze puzzle. In Breath of the Wild.
Yay! Please tell me I got everything in this one. Man, all of them are these. Is that does that really mean there's still loot there? Because I didn't get all the loot in any of these things, and I'm kind of surprised by that. Oh, wait, we already remember this guy wants a million dollars. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yay, arrows. Love some free arrows. I didn't know you could do that. Can you always do that? Can you always like go through it the other way? Or is that only like... Okay, that's interesting though. That's cool. I was like, no. Finally. See you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Exactly as Zelda said. I 
done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, ah! Oh. Okay. Okay. Let me play a Zelda. Let me play a Zelda. I knew we were gonna be looking for this bitch the whole fucking game. Like, they're every two seconds, and we're like, they're just gonna. Your princess is in the other castle. Can I. Can I just jump down there? It doesn't seem like that would be safe to do. Yeah? Let me make sure I land on the water this time. The Legend of Hide and Seek. Because <laughs> last time I, I went straight into the ground. Like the actual earth.
Hmm. Ooh, we can change the layers of the map. The surface and the sky. It's weird seeing the map all like not uncovered. We finished the Toriel zone. Well, I don't actually don't know if that's true. Also, my phone auto-corrected high roll to hurdle. Let me see if there's like... What pictures would be like. I feel like this is fairly innocuous. This isn't too bad. That could be like literally anything. Even watching the cutscene, I don't really know what, what this was. Okay. Re-promoting the stream. Sorry, I got a message that I have to respond to. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I gotta look at the calendar real quick. Do 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 Um and then I gotta it's sorry, there's like so much stuff coming up soon. Um do 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Do 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 Send in some messages using my Slack account Da 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 Hold on hold on hold on Do 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 Okay And then how long have we been live? Five hours? This is hour five of our stream. It's weird that it's Friday. It feels like Saturday. Okay, there we go. Oh, excuse me. I kind of have to sneeze too. Give me a second. <coughs> Oh, jeez.
Do do do. All right, let's go ahead and keep it moving. Got some dazzle fruit. Here you know, I'm trying to like zoop up into everything. Oh, that they don't let me do that. That's kind of fair. Oh wait, wait, wait. Bitch. Oh, it's You know what it is? This has a lot of Gooigi energy to it. And that's the part that's like kind of disturbing about it. Y'all remember Gooigi? It's like a goo version of Luigi from Luigi's Mansion. That's what this reminds me of. What? This was for nothing? Well, all right. See, um, Hey, we got some friends here. I miss having my uh, infinite bombs, though, I think. Hmm, let me think about my new tools, though, and what they mean. We got the. Why is the map on here? Okay, well, I guess it's something. Send Ultra Hand, Fuse. Recall. Okay. Okay. Let me drop this bomb barrel, though, at least. I think. That's my idea. I don't know if it'll work. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Um, what does this do? Does adding meat to that do anything? Do I get the meat back? I don't know, but... Let me know if I should be adding... Um, me to all of my <laughs> arrows. Is the column bow actually worse? Let's see, it's a four. Oh, they're like the same. Okay, well. I don't think I need this wooden stick. Ah, I, we can add some to it. All right. Hmm. What is this? What is this? Shit. 
bitch. What the fuck? What is that? I don't like that. Oh no! Problem. All right. Hmm. Like oh, this spooky what? mist everywhere. Hmm. Witness the blood moons rise. Its red glow shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Yeah, I, I remember that. Just as they did in a war long past, the world is threatened once again. So turn on buying a switch for this game or waiting until the new pro post slash new model. It depends on how long you're willing to wait. If you're okay waiting one to like three years, then sure. But if you're like honestly anything more than a year, I'm gonna be kinda salty about it. I think maybe just get it now, frankly. The OLED's a great option. It looks beautiful, uh the um Legend of Zelda OLED. And I think even if they end up coming out with something, let's say like it, you end up with the worst scenario, six months, a year, they come out with something new, then just trade in what you have and use it to offset the price of like the new hardware. I feel like that's would be totally fair. Like if you know what I mean? Because if you're already willing to just wait until the next thing, then you're probably also willing to trade in the old model. It would still cost you like that. That plan would still be like maybe a hundred dollars 200 worst case scenario more than what you would spend if you just only bought the new thing but that's like the also the worst case scenario because that i'm kind of guessing how much the new thing would even cost and stuff like that you know um but that's what i would that's just me that's what i would do at this point because it's such a good time to to get the well not i wouldn't say it's, a, oh, it's such a good time to get a switch now because it is kind of uh getting later into its life cycle. But if you really want to play this game, I think especially if you, I don't know if you've played Breath of the Wild, like if you may have played that already on the Wii U, um, but yeah, I mean, and you don't know what the next thing looks like, when the next thing will be, or what its compatibility will be. I would assume you'd have like a Tears of the Kingdom on that, but like we don't know that for sure, you know? Okay, it's gotta be a way to like do this that's more good advice thanks yeah you know whatever ends up uh working for you if too if it's like i mean i don't know what kind of hardware stuff you have currently but if it's like Trying to offset the finances, you know, you can look to, you know, make out some old controllers, some old games, um, to help kind of offset some of that cost, because it can be a lot. I've definitely done that for a lot of different, um, gaming stuff when I've needed to. Not my favorite solution, because I do think, like, I often am plagued, with, am plagued with regret for things, but, you know, sometimes you just need, like, that little bit of extra, like, help, you know, to offset the cost of stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I just... Yeah! Oh, oops.
Hmm. How the herb is not changed in the Gentiles code before. Okay. Classic. Okay, we're pretty close to where we're supposed to go to. Let's just keep the focus a little bit because... Oh, let's also like, attack this little jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Yay! Oh man, there's just like stuff falling. This is like weirdly reminiscent of Horizon, <laughs> like how they have the engagements, or like Ghost of Tsushima. No way! Link, Mr. Link, is that really you? Where have you been? No one's seen you or Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. Pura has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. At the moment, uh, Pura should be in that building with a telescope. Please hurry now. She'll want to know that you're alright. Look out landing. <laughs> what a pleasant morning. Hey, where have Hey you, where have you been? This is Robbie. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now we should hurry and go talk to Pura. She has been in a tizzy ever since you and pr the princess disappeared. She's in the building with a telescope. Go See her and give her some peace of mind, will ya? <laughs> oh, I feel like she wants to talk to me. What? That hair, those eyes, the, the doc, oh. Doctor Pura, the swordsman, the swordsman has returned. Oh, interesting. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. 
Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature, and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Ravu. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. What? Yes. Then. What? You say you came from up there? This robbery. Rauru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Are they one the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain sorry, I mean, yeah, I'm unrolling a fruit roll up. Um, but I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. You sure you heard the princess speak to you? Most important detail of all. And she gave you a clear message to find her? If it was truly the princess, that means she's alive. Hey, she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That sells it. I know you only just returned Link, but I need you to meet with the research party up by Harrow Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around here, which is concerning to say the least, but we have a more imminent promise to deal with now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Without literally telling me, does anyone know, like, when do I get this feature? Like, I'm wondering, should I just beeline to feel like I have all the features that I need to explore? Or should I, like, just already go with it because it might take a while for me to get all that stuff anyway? Which, like, I realize that people might not know that either, but I guess for now I'll head to the castle. Okay, cool. Then I think I'm just gonna, like, live my life, you know what I mean? Sorry, I didn't want to choke on the fruit roll-up. Um, yeah, I really like the VO, um, added in. It just gets tiring, like, reading for that long, and Nintendo has the budget to have voice actors, so it's like, come on now. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> okay, cool, cool. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm asking for and not the m mellow fellow, like... To what degree, like, should I mainline to feel like I have, like, more tools? You know? Versus when is it, like, okay, you can kind of just, like, do your own thing now. Like, I'm not going to deviate here and there. Like, I'm probably going to stop at that shrine. But I also don't want to, like... Like, I'd rather... Like, for the paraglider, for instance. It's like, okay, if I am going to get the paraglider, I'd rather just go get the paraglider than explore for like 20 hours and then be like wow this would have made exploring a lot easier you know oh excuse me which isn't to be confused with like there's a lot of tools that you get in breath of the wild like through the divine beast that make exploring easier and fighting easier but 
I feel like that's a little different. You know what I mean? I feel like the intro was complete. Yeah. Okay, cool. I will stop by this, though, because why not? Combat training. Cool. This is probably where I learned to flip and shit. Actually, I know this is going to break at some point, but we'll just... Okay. Cool, side hop. I bought a pro controller just for Zelda. Yeah, I love the pro controller. I would also probably blah, 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 blah. I would also probably do the side quest in the area. Um, you get the paraglider since they introduced the basics for the game. Um, okay, press Y and then really charge attack. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Feels plastic and light. Yeah, it definitely has a lightness to it. This actually, ergonomically, this might be my favorite controller. In general, we'll probably drop some of these sticks. This is like the same, like the whole like having like the combat shrine that introduces the um, fighting mechanics. It reminds me of how, like, I just didn't remember any of those mechanics <laughs> when I played Breath of the Wild later, and I had to, like, learn everything from the chat. We kind of parry, how to do all these different things. And I'm like, was this something that I did before? Because I feel like no one told me I do this, but... So this off topic, but I was recently checking out reviews. Um, how you decide you're going to review game plan? Honestly, I normally review um, just games that I get codes for pre, like, embargo um that's my preference right now so i'm not, I'm not gonna use all the like that's so much work and it's already out it's fine <laughs> um i have yet to review a game that i haven't like had pre um what's the word for it like pre-release basically um i'd like to do some reviews for after that but um 
I like barely can even get to the games that I get before they like come out. And specifically, I review stuff that like also I get a code for. So a lot of the game codes I get are through Kind of Funny and MinMax. Some of them are ones I get for myself, like even just for this channel, I'll be like, hey, you know, I've reached out to plenty of developers, um, you know, PR teams, publishers, whatever, and been like, I want to stream your game for like, you know, this stream I'm having. Would love a code if you have any available. And then I've gotten codes. Um, so sometimes I just stream with the game. Um, there are times where I end up just not getting to the game at all because I'm too busy. Uh, I try to avoid that, but it happens. And um, and then the other ones where I'm like, oh, I'd like a review code. And I know in my mind, like, boom, I'm definitely going to make time to review this. Like, uh, like Chia, for instance. I was like, OK, boom, I got the game. I'm reviewing it. Let's go. I did the preview, too. So that was a nice moment where I was able to do both the preview and the review for Chia, um, which was cool. But um, yeah, that's basically it. And as far as like keeping an eye out on stuff, like I am on a lot of PR lists. Um, trying to grow that as time goes on. So, you know, anyone watching or listening that might be, um, I have one left and I want it. <laughs> Isaiah looked at the empty box of her roll-ups and I'm like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I got that one left and I'm saving it for after the stream <laughs> where I'm going to just fucking play more Zelda. Um, yeah. And I'm like down to, you know, review kind of the stuff you see me talk about, you know, like, um, Mario plus Rabbids, uh, Dying Light 2 and the preview for Far Cry 5 were some of my bigger like triple A kind of um what's up with this hold on what can I not just like wait um some of my bigger like content pieces I've gotten to do but you know I do a lot of indie stuff too so yeah I think too I, I one thing I'd like to work on is um doing more feature articles and just general pieces so i think tears of the kingdom could be like a great one for like a general feature article so i want to work on doing that more right now the main thing that i have on pen and pixels is um reviews um and lists like i have my best of list and previews as well so i did a bunch of like previews during like packs and stuff but Hey, Zara's off limits. While well, we conduct the social presence of Zelda, you can't just walk, come wandering in like that. Link, it's you? Sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, does that mean that we don't need a search party anymore? Huh? You should talk to Captain Haas. He's leading the search party in the first gate. He's at the very end of the road. It was funny to, like, quickly look at this and be like, oh my god, how am I going to get through this? And then I'm like, wait, there's literally nothing stopping me from walking around here. Uh, it's not a very secured area, if I'm being honest. It's wild being back at the castle after um, just finishing, you know, Breath of the Wild. I don't know why he was like stopping and going like that. Well, he says he's at the end of the road, so I'm just gonna like go up here. There he is. That's probably him. Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past oh. here. This area is restricted to those in search of Princess Zelda by direct order of Captain Haas. If you insist on passing, you need permission from the captain. He should be at the first gate up the end of the road. Oh, okay. That poppin'. Okay, I kind of want to see what's in here, though. Damn, I'm so weak that, like, I didn't even break these. And I can just, like, lift them up and... The ultra hand. Yes. Ah. 
Okay, so he's still like, he's at the end end of the road. Oh my god, is that him? Oh. Did you come looking for Princess Zelda? Oh. The captain is on top of the gatehouse there. Just gonna come down anytime soon. Okay, so I gotta go up the gatehouse. But also, what's up with this guy? He about to fall off this whole thing. Oh. Ooh, staying on the edge and staring intense, seeing a chasm in person. It's far better than hearing at it. Chasm. Whoa! Why would you do that and just star someone standing at the edge of the void? This chasm is nearly bottomless, just like all the others created in the upheaval. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless chasm. Even if it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. So, okay. Hmm. I sort of drop in, even though I think he's like at the top of the thing. You guys are gonna be like, oh, talk to the guy. What about the weapons? <sighs> They've suddenly decayed. Mmm, I was supposed some regions and searched. I found nothing. Ah, interesting. Yeah, everything's all like melted. Yeah. Alright, maybe I just like go up now? Okay, was, did someone see me do that? Because that would be like really upsetting. Keep searching. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive! And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Hang on, you're alone, but you heard the princess calling out for. And now you're here to help with the search? I are. Maybe I don't. I see, or maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but right now that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing the search for Princess Zelda. I'm relieved to see you've come up here to help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've dealt... We've been a bit dead in the water. There you go. Kazan, it's Princess Zelda! I'm so scared for what this is gonna be. Princess Zelda, she's safe! Bitch, what? Nah. Mm mm. That's that brujeria stuff. Like I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with it. Mm mm. Mm mm. Wait, what? You saw it too, Link. It was turn into light and fly off, right? Strange. This is this is an emergency situation. Um, why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know. Uh, or Pura. Pura, right? No, it's Pura. About this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura what, about what happened here as soon as possible. Yeah, that shit was weird. Is that just paying the light? I don't understand. Meanwhile, I literally do the same thing to fast travel out of here. Mm. 
right? Like, oops, that was an accident. Yeah, they have their back turned. They have no idea. They don't know what's going on. Ooh. It's when the pot lid's not that useful anyway, so. Time to loot all of their resources. Hold on. We have the car. A day of this monument to the memory of the souls lost to Calamity Ganon. Yeah, I'm definitely taking the fucking flower off the grave. Fuck it. Oh, still going? Yeah, yeah. It's marathon stream, man. How is it going? Billy Bates at Third Shrine. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of intro in this game. Like, it is a beefy boy. Um, I, you know, I'm ahead of that, so. Fair warning. Oh my god, that's so, uh, there's one already made. <laughs> um, I'm ahead of that. I did the, um, I mean, like, lights, I did another thing, and then uh, now I'm here. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything in case you don't want spoilers. Uh, but honestly, I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. You know, it's more, it's definitely feels like more Breath of the Wild to me, but with like a new set of mechanics, you know? Like it's the same general concept. But now, like, you just have a new way of like looking at things and approaching things. It's cool. Um, I'm excited to do like everything. Like, I want to do a bunch of stuff. Okay, um... This is, like, dumb, but... I don't think I have, like, a fan or anything left. No, I don't have a fan. I made this, though. Look, isn't it cool? No, it won't go, though. What's this guy talking about? Yeah, my support. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, darn it. Hudson, Hudson, are you okay? I'm going slow, looking everywhere just to figure out the lore in this great skyland alone. Yeah, there was like a lot of stuff up there. I like barely got out of there like a little while ago and I've been, this is like my five hour part of the stream, five and a half hours. Oh no, what have I done? All right, I'm sorry, President. I won't let you fall over again. That's unforgivable. It's not your fault for stalling me like that. You know, it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I blame the Put the blame on you. Unforgivable. You haven't heard of Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one... He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere. And now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction. Besides all that... I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around, but President Hudson gave me an extra special mission to put up all these signs all over to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, you can clearly see. They betray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over, and so I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread, but I don't know what to do. What? What are you going to- why are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Whoa, unforgivable. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna help this guy out. Oops, not this one. Hmm. Wait, can this like not fuse? I want this to fuse. It won't. What? Maybe I need like a shorter one, like it has to go underneath. Or just something that like it's not able to be fused for some reason. This is like these <laughs> ugly solutions. Oops. <laughs> Bitch, now he won't talk to me. I'm trying to help you out. Okay. He's standing. Ah. This is like such an ugly way to look at it. What do you think of Rara? I didn't expect the Zonad to be a different species. Oh, and the intro. Uh, he's cool, he's spooky. Kind of reminds me of um, the Outer Wilds DLC actually. But yeah, I feel like it's... I mean, I know some people are more in tune with like who the Zonai are and stuff if you're like really into the lore, but... I love like a nice mix of ancient and innovative technology and this like has that so I think it's pretty cool. Take this with my thanks. Oh yay! Hmm. A sleepover ticket? <laughs> what? A lodging voucher for a regular stable bed. A reward for collecting pony points. Spend it at the stable and get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. Oh. Now I can go to other places and put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. I'm excited to see this guy for like the next 80 hours, you know, personally. It's like, why not? I don't have a fan to like get more stuff, but maybe I can like, hold on. <laughs> get some momentum going here. Oh, whatever. I just thought they were ancient humans from long ago. I mean, they—I mean, they were like human-esque, you know. Um, let me get rid of. They just got—they got long ears. I hope they don't make me build my own house because that house is gonna look ugly. It's gonna look like a fucking gingerbread house if they have me building my own house in this game. Going just two feet. Oh! <laughs> Damn. And then technology kind of looks like uh, a Mesoamerica culture with like all the dragon heads. Yeah, it just definitely has some of that vibe. Those guys just saw you shit. They totally did. Like, damn. Never gonna be able to show my face here again. Hmm. Lane, did you find anything? <laughs> you're telling me, Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I gotta say, your story is always so wild. We were telling me. That's what you saw. That's what I gotta believe. 
Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since Princess Zelda flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off as we look around. Oh yeah, you still have the pura pad, right? Can I see it for a second? A little worse for wear, but still seems to be functioning. Oh right, I forgot that before we can look at the overall map of Hyrule, we need that map data from the lookout landing, and for that we need to go to Skyview Tower. Uh... Josha? Tosha? What's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Let me see. I have a feeling that that, that would be the case. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing some fine adjustments. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about that, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just a spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen. It's so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info... Mm -hmm. Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything at the center right there where the emergency sh shelter is. If you need any clothing for your travels... Ooh, hell yeah. You should go to this one shop or whatever. Uh, I'll be over at Skyrim Tower, so like head out when you're ready or whatever. Yeah. Check it. Cute. I wanna go clothes shopping. I wanna buy some new clothes. I love my little outfits. Please, please, please let me buy something cheap. I only got like 20 rupees. Hey! It's further to the store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it's a little thrown together, but it's got a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you support my place here. Your hometown? Small fishing town called Lurinlin Village. It's way south in the southeast corner of Hyrule. It used to be a peaceful place too when the pirates arrived. I used to run the village's general store, but when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I don't know how it's going there. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like. Anything else you need? Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's so great. It's just so great. The Hylian Armor set series has caught your eye too. The design is so cool and it fits like a glove. It's popular with travelers, which means it's must it's a must for adventuring. Wow. This is too rich for my blood. Y'all selling apples for 12 rubies a piece? Get out of here. That's like so much. Alright, well, I can't afford anything there. I'm way too broke. Look, a little horse! Hello. So you're this link that people keep talking about. Sounds like you're pretty tough. I'd like to teach you. I'd like you to teach me about combat when all this is done. Hmm. What is that really? You link in return? It's such a relief to see that you're safe. Oh, let me introduce you. And introduce myself. I'm Growlins, head of the Monster Control Crew. It's our job to keep the monsters at bay, at be as best we can at Hyrule. But aside from that, we've been assisting in the search for Princess Zelda, whose whereabouts are un unknown. I'm glad you returned safely, but I'm gravely concerned about the princess. I'm holding out that the monster control crew brings back good news. They're searching the castle for her now. Da -da 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 -da. I see. Princess Zelda sent to the sky above Hyrule and then vanished. What a strange thing. All the same, it's a relief to hear she's alive. Well then, with that information, the monster control crew will resume our original duty of subduing the monsters. Of course, if we come across any info regarding the princess, I'll report immediately to Pura. I've assembled strategies and pertinent information at our headquarters in the emergency shelter. There you'll find folks with an intimate understanding of Hyrule's geography as well. If any of this is relevant to you, we encourage you to stop by. Oh. All right, everyone, it's time to move out. Flaxel squad, for now, I'm positioning you in the south of Hyrule. Proceed to Farron. There are pirates running rampant in the area, so sweep the coast thoroughly. We're counting on you. I know, it did look like I was talking- I th honestly, I hit A because I thought I would be able to talk to the horse, but... I was kind of disappointed that that was not the case. Link! Glad to have you back, Link. My name is Scorpus. I have been charged with ma managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about this place at 
Any at all. Okay, come right to me. I will answer as best I can. Now, please, allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Hey, it's me. Open up. The underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making a constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. We. This is a nice emergency shelter. I thought it was going to be just like a tent or something. Uh. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Uh. Indeed, this place is originally oh yeah, the royal family. It's quite old, so we've been fixing up as we go. At this point, we've stockpiled, stockpiled some supplies, and I find it to be downright cozy. Ah. I, Monty, have been tasked with, you know, being at the entrance or whatever. My tasks involve ordering from my... Taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task Hi. indeed. Watch your footing when using the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than the tiresome ladder. Ha, huh, but I digress. Look at this dust. Oh. Hey, I know that face. And any face I know is a face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in the shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. Mm. But don't you dare making a mess and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning in here and there's endless amounts of dust. Mm. Where does all this dust even come from anyway? It's the same Hyrulean script, and yet it's so different from our modern language. I still have a lot to learn. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. Based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm, you must be Link. Am I right? Pura has told me so much about you. I'm Wartsworth. War Wartsworth. <laughs> My research specialty is ancient Hyrulean. Mm -hmm. And by ancient Hyrulean, I don't mean the text found right in the Ring Ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. These books are written in that ancient tongue. They look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Hyrulean. And are you curious about ancient Hyrulean? I don't have anything to show you as things stand now, but I'm sure I'll have... I'll someday have results posted and ready for all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. Kakariko... Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm in control of figuring out this bird device. Oh my god, I was so bad. I... Mm, it did not work for me. I could not fly that thing. Um... Uh... It's like, this is tough, because I don't really want to read this, but, like, I want to, because it's there, you know? Whatever, serving. The mysterious ruins appear due to the upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions we're calling shrines. They are believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines, as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky, above, and the surrounding environment. That's not too bad. Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering the chasm, be sure to ask permission from Joshua, Joshua the leader of the chasm surveys. Oh, I want to read the team's purpose, even though I don't really care too much, but I do. I moved it a little and it fell off, uh, used up all my fans. It, yeah, like, I don't know. It was rough. Um, I couldn't get it to like be balanced for like flying um like it like kind of like fell off and then i like kind of was sliding off of it it was very awkward we of the zonai survey team were founded and tasked by princess zelda to study ruins and ancient documents through the lens of archaeological understanding it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of hyrule due to the upheaval many ruins crashed from the zonai civilization came crashing from down from the sky and we have known very little of the Zonai, but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Taro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Our current surveys are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base in Takariko Village. 
The end. Great. Hmm. This is a little kid, right? <clears throat> Remnants from Zonai culture have started popping up all over. This calls for the Zonai survey team. Well, it should call for that, but instead they've got me hanging out here until further notice. I even spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonai survey team book over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the news in each region. So I'm more prepared when the call comes. Mm -hmm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. They live out in Hebra region, if I recall. It's this, in the snowfields of northwest Hyrule. Some of the surveyors grouse about going because of how cold it is. When all you need to do is bring the proper gear supplies for cold resistance and go to the Rito Inn to sleep on a luxurious fluffy down bed. <sighs> I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd sent me out on a survey already. Today is the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pura as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins thoroughly begins thorough investigations the world over. Huh. Guess this paper's a little old. Mm. So you're Link, huh? Some some of the soldiers were telling me. As a simple man from Lurulin, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Lurin Village, it's a fishing town in East Nakluda, far to the southeast. Used to be a popular resort thanks to its sandy white beaches and gorgeous views of sparkling sea. Um, then got attacked by pirates. Now no one's living there, let alone running the shops. But listen to me getting all gloomy. There is an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I wouldn't have come here. I should have shut my trap and enjoyed the charms of Lookout Landing. Say, did you see those books over there they have here? <laughs> I tried reading one the other day. Complete gibberish. How can the Zonai survey team make sense of any of that stuff? Oh. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Baramo, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have fruit and mushroom mix. That'll rev you right up. Oh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but... I'm plum out of apples. If I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to the richful flavor. My nose is detecting an aroma. A sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? <gasps> wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. I thought it's going to be the worst food. She's going to make dubious food, isn't she? I'm calling it Baramo, Baramano's Bar special fruit and mushroom mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? No, oh, it actually is pretty decent. I have to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. Oh, oh hey, is that you, Link? I've been nose down. And I don't know what's happening around me half the time. This is pretty involved, so I'm gonna keep sitting here while I wrench on for a while or something. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all the weapons decayed. I poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Yeah, just before the upheaval gloom began pouring down on the ground, it clung to all the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces before our eyes. It was all pretty wild. I don't understand how it happened. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most oh. things. Oh yeah, in case nobody has mentioned it, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though they're probably, they probably won't be much use since they're all decayed, I guess, or something. I don't know. Oh, it's you, Link. Oh, it's you. Wait, hold on. This guy's quite kind of nerdy. <clears throat> oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to something because I hit A too fast. Are you interested in different peoples, in the different peoples of Hyrule, where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on deployment with the monster control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. I'm such, as such, I'm the most knowledgeable in Lookout Landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. Oh. 
Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are, researchers are among them. The leader of Lookout Landing, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Oh. Hyrule has eight major places that its various people call home. Lookout Landing is located here in central Hyrule. Up northwest of here, there's Rito Village in Hebra. Then there's Gerudo Town that's located to the southwest in the Gerudo region. You'll find Goron City to the northeast in Elden. Travel a bit further east and you'll come across Tari Town in Akala. Akala. Not too far from there is the Zora's Domain. That's within Laner Laneru region. Hmm. Continuing into the southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nekluda. Within that cluster, you'll find Kakariko village where the Sheikah live. I hear the village leader is quite lovely. If you are seeking a tranquil spot, Hi Ateno Village? I also hear it's okay, center of fashion. We're going there. We're going there first. Finally, there's Luralin Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. Uh... Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the people of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew, crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone everywhere. Oh. I work with the control crew. We're tasked with protecting people from monsters. There's been uptick since the upheaval, but I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge to help determine areas to help. De uh, <laughs> I use my knowledge of areas to help determine where we should make our deployments. There's been. Okay, yeah, yeah. Careful out there. Burning the candle at both ends, hmm, Link? I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control HQ. Recently, Pura asked that we should suspend our involvement in the search of Princess Zelda, so we've resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been running rampant since the upheaval. All three squads are out on expeditions at the moment. They've been sharing updates with us, though. Oh. Haza Squad, Torin Squad, and Flaxel Squad of the Mountain of the monster control crew are taking down monsters all across Hyrule. Oh. Haza squad is hunting monsters in Hyrule Field to the south of Lookout Landing. If you see them, do me a favor and help them out. So this is kind of Ghost of Tsushima in a sense. Like we're gonna see people like squaring up and then we can like pull up and join the fight. That's the vibe I get from this at least. Wanna know the whereabouts of any other squads? Oh. Torrent squad is on the north side of Death Mountain in Elden. They're heading for a cave discovered at Lake Darman, which used to have, sorry, <laughs> which used to be a lava lake, but has since stopped flowing. They're taking out the monsters nesting in the cave, so if you see them, do me a favor and help them out, please. Want to know the other whereabouts of the squad? Uh. Flaxel Squad is hunting monsters in Farron to the south. They're aiming to subdue the pirate ship on Minote River to the south of Lake Hylia, which is west of Highland Stable. If you see them there, do me a favor. Please help them out. I'm told your skill in swordplay is unmatched. If you even stumble into one of our squads during our travels, please lend your legendary skills to our plight. Whew, all right. That was quite the VO run of these different little characters. I guess there's, oh, there's a few more people left, okay. Oh. Okay, what's this guy's vibe? Whew, okay. Link, right? Are you really... You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I heard folks talking about you. And your face matches the one on that poster. Oh, sorry. You want a bed? You can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Uh. Napping, sleep talking is pro particularly audible, so you probably want a bed farther from him. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the chasms. That's despite how long he's been back. Which has been quite a while. Still hasn't made much of a recovery. Oh. 
The upheaval created massive openings across the land known as chasms. In fact, there's one nearby just beneath Hyrule Castle and another to the south of Lookout Landing. But if you go plumbing in those depths, you'll come out you'll come across plenty of gloom. You touch that stuff and your health will health will be will take a turn for the worse. Anyway, there's been a young girl named Joshua who's been heading up to investigate the chasms. Despite her age, she's been lending, leading the charge pretty remarkable, if you ask me. Alright, there we go. That is everybody in here. And all their little personalities. Hmm. See, if I could become goo, I could just... Nah, I can only- I can't descend, I can only ascend. People are just way too unfazed by the things that, like, Link does. You know what I mean? Like... Wish there was like an opening down here. There's like a little kid down here though or something. Oh no, some, this is a mushroom. <laughs> I thought it was a small child. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. I gotta figure out how to get underneath this whole area. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, 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 that's not quite right. Uh -huh. That should do it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Link. You all set? I just wrapped up here myself. We travel. Po the travel point is working fine, or it will be once you do your part. Hey. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Some really nice, like, vista shots in these opening couple hours. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Ah. Hold the purr pad over that terminal. Alright, the Sky View Tower is now activated on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get up here at any time instantly. Same is true as every for every tower you add to the per pad. Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But Sky View Towers are more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function their primary function is to survey the area or more simply like put on your map basically. The purple pad works from the sky view towers and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm? Mm. Only thing is you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. Um, to be honest, that's why we haven't tested it out. We need you, which brings us to this. Yay, finally. Thank God. Ah. Right, now it's show time. Let's start with the test scan. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Uh, just step right over there into the circle and find me afterward, all right? Uh -huh. 
I'll be observing from my research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda, and I'll need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has been ra has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. Okay, cool. So I stand here, and then I just stand there. <clears throat> This is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's dope. Nice. Hmm. That's pretty fun. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding link up there, Link. I expected nothing less. How'd it go? Did you get a proper scan? The map is crucial to our search. Um, there are Skyview Towers in every region of this world. You want to make a point to yes. resolve them? Right now, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than the castle. Reports of the strange phenomenon over we have been coming from all over Hyrule. And then, you know, we're gonna get them on the map or whatever. The first report comes from Hebra here in the northwest. Next is Elda. Okay, so this is gonna be like our version of Divine Beast, kind of, I think. Can't say for certain, but have a nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into this phenomenon. Hey, Doc, um, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebrew recently. Mm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but that does sound like it's worth looking into. <gasps> oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked uh, the Lucky Clover Gazette to help with the search for Princess Zelda. Oh, oops, I'm... Okay, you can find them in the... Rito Village. Uh, if you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help you find... Help you... Help out in some way, too. There it goes. Mm -hmm. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll be... I'll also be looking into some different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to Princess Zelda. Yeah. I'm counting on you. Check out the major phenomena... Right? Phenomena? That word looks weird. Okay. That are troubling the regions of Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda in one way or another. Alright! I think this is like our main section now of the game. I'm gonna also stand because I've been sitting for too long. Whew. Talk to Josha before you leave, though. Okay, where'd she go? Ah. Oops. Is it true you got the Pura pad? Ah. Pura and I worked together to design it, but I'm the one who put it together, you know? We should have called it the Robbie pad, technically speaking. Nah, man, fuck this guy. <laughs> So 
Sorry, I'm just adjusting my standing pad. Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying... I was saying I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go jump into the chasm myself. No way, you can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. Um, I'd love to do go gallivanting around where... Down there, too, who knows what waters are at the bottom of those chasms, but... No matter how dangerous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. And I'm not going to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pearl's favorite student, it would be the end of me. The end! But I need um, more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. Oh, Swordsman, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. A piece, this piece of slate specifically, the image depicted on it. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised? Well, I have a theory. A game theory. <laughs> okay, um, I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there. So I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Huh. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Mm. Josha, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use uh, your per pad camera to take a picture of it. Per plan camera? You don't know about the camera? It's one of the most basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one, one that's stored in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Pura pad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. There'll be lots of monsters in the depths though. So I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go ahead once you're ready and we're going to go. Come find me there. Ta-ta! Ta-ta! Wait, hang on! Do 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 Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help, he leaves before he looks. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Oh, and take this too. Oh, yay, free arrows. The caverns are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. Um, but if you attach bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out the lookout landing southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles just... Goggles used just outside. There we go. I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting you to bring me back a picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure on like how much time has passed. On one hand, it kind of felt like all of this happened like within a day or something. Like, oh, we killed Ganon and then we like went down into the caves, like a few minutes later <laughs> and then like all this went down but it probably was more time and i don't know how long you were in like the sky for but also i don't know how like known link is in hyrule like i mean obviously he's known but like you know maybe some stuffs like people are like oh yeah like you're link right like i don't know So original phenomenon, crisis at Hyrule. All right. Hmm. Oh. Ah. 
Use your hands differently, so use it wisely. Um, if you know they're handling and practice plenty, the fact that they're decayed won't matter much. Okay. As soon as anybody else that I should be talking to in here. I think you've caused quite a stir since your arrival, huh? People do fuss, they, don't they? If this what is your first visit, talk to that soldier in the center of our fort, or were you hoping to register a horse? Okay. Okay, I used to work at the stable, whatever. I'm busy with work. Link, what a relief. Where have you been? Sorry for the excitement, I'm just happy you're back. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable and look at landing. Lester has I'm so scared they're gonna make me build too many things and like I don't know how to put together anything. Um, and this is the moment I pretty much just went off and started exploring with everyone here. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so it'd help him out a lot if he had a proper stable. The project would likely take me a while to complete. Oh. Uh, but once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. Okay, right, and this is the store. Bone needs to follow sky reside devices, just much we don't know about them. Guess it could be useful. And then I already talked to her. Hmm. Anything about the four regions I asked you to check out? Cute. On that day, the land shook and a huge chasm that seemed bottomless opened in the ground. These were notes on the upheaval. The clouds billowed and rolled um, as floating islands appeared in the sky, raining chunks of ruins down on us. Uh, the stra And strangest of all, Hyrule Castle began to float in the air. It's hard to believe this is our world now. Whoever started calling it the upheaval had the right idea. An evil-looking haze surged up from the chasms that opened on the surface. The haze weakens everything it touches. People fall ill when exposed to it, and it has another curious property as well. As if guided, the miasma, coil miasma coils about our weapons? Yeah. There isn't a single weapon to n we know of that hasn't decayed as a result. That's what I'm just going to read. We're calling the stuff gloom. We decided to call the islands hanging in the sky, Sky Islands. Simple and to the point is best, it seemed. I suspect based on the design motifs of them that the ruins falling from the sky are Zonai in origin. We still understand so little about the Zonai civilization. All we know is that it flourished in the sky. While it's true that the upheaval has posed major problems in every aspect of life in Hyrule, I can't deny that's also presented us with an opportunity to answer questions that we've long had about our history. Hmm. We start investigating the fallen ruins in the Sky Islands. Our best lead is a report from the chief of Kekariko Village. Some unusual ruins and engraved slabs have fallen there. I decided to have the Zonai survey team work out of Kekariko Village in Nekluda, southeast of Lookout Landing. The ruins that fell on Kekariko Village are massive. You can see them from all the way here at Lookout Landing. The crater left by the castle's rise is still spewing gloom. It's kept us from making any progress with our investigation. We still don't know anything about where the princess and Link have gone. The upheaval occurred very soon after Princess Zelda and Link left to explore beneath Hyrule. I fear the two events are related. Oh, hold on. I already read the other pages. So yeah, I'm not sure how long we were like gone for. I don't think too long, but long enough for everyone to like write these diary reports and like kind of decide how they're going to talk about the um like catastrophe that happened for lack of a less dramatic term oh yeah that's great i'm so happy to have this oh it's raining it's hard to believe this ruin just fell in the sky feels like they've been here from ages so strange right 
Yeah, um, but it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows why the upheaval even is. Well, Per is investigating the upheaval, and she certainly thinks it provides clues about Princess Zelda. The progress isn't great, I've heard. This is a prison's all right. Wherever she is, these ruins right here are exceptional. But really, who cares about that? At a time like this. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, this guy and his crystallized charges, man. Oh, she's a tree branch. Let me just triple check if there's something more in the village that I want to look at. Oh man. Okay. Then, wait, wait, hold on. Who's this? Ah. Oh, well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around in the sky. It's good to meet um, the first one to ever be launched from the sky tower. What's your name? Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you have the same name as that famous swordsman. Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere know will know about the towers being activated. I better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I have to flap. So I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. <laughs> That's real as fuck. Hey, we use another. Oh hell yeah! Okay. Ah. Soar long. Okay, cool. See, I knew there was going to be someone else that I hadn't talked to yet. I think that's everybody to talk to, though. This map does seem pretty boofy. We got this, then we got the sky. Which is just this for now, but... I don't know if there's gonna be like more parts or what. No, 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 I don't wanna go there. I don't wanna go there. I don't wanna go there. Oh, though also, I did get all the loot on the other shrine, right? No, I didn't. See, does this still mean that you didn't get all the loot? Because I have this, like, on all the shrines, this little chest. Like, I'm just kind of surprised that there's, like, secret loot on all of these. Like, did I not get all the stuff there? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I guess not. Um... I was, I'm also like seeing um, play at Jason and the uh, I have his stream pulled up and he's doing some real wild stuff. Um, all right, you know, honestly, I think that this might be a good place to do a stopping point at, but I'm gonna see where I want to raid out to. I think Ben will probably still be playing for a little while and he's before me, so it'll be a good way to see like kind of the 
uh, Sky Islands more and how he approaches it. So uh, yeah, just because I, I could maybe go a little further, but I feel like I might be on the verge of getting a little too tired. Um, I probably will still play tonight, but I just want to take like a longer break and just chill out for a bit. But this has been a blast and a half, y'all. Uh, please stick around for the ending stuff and the uh, raid out. So um, I'll be live again on Tuesday, I believe, with the Minish Cap, actually. So um, another Zelda game, a much smaller Zelda game, uh, but one that's super fun and that I'm having a lot of uh, enjoyment out of doing a full playthrough of it. So catch up on those VODs on YouTube if you are behind and uh, stick around for the raid. But before we do that, I wanna give a shout out to all y'all viewing, following, subbing, moderating, and of course my sponsors over on Patreon. You too can join over on patreon.com slash gameonesis with rewards as low as $1 tier all the way up to the $25 tier. Like my sponsors, I'm talking of course about folks like Biscuits with Davey, Edwin Garcia, Kevin Fair, Patrick Schwieger, Platform Fanatic, Play Jason, Ramson, Spencer, Cassiano, and Nina McKee. Um, thank y'all so much for hanging out. Uh, it's been super cool. I have liked uh, the game so far, and I'm very excited to be in the more open area at long last. Um, so there we go. Yeah, I think we're right out to Min Max show. Um, Part of me is wondering if they're going, how much more they're going to play, but I think they'll be playing for a little bit longer. Uh, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all here next time.